you don't even see the snake at first. You just see, oh, look at all these little <laughs> chicks. That's so, yeah. oh my God. Yeah. What's, oh, why is his mouth open? And then you go, I hope this doesn't happen on this video. <laughs> There's no way that she's showing us this, is, is there? I just hope people are flagging Savage. Christina's psychopathy as much as they are pointing out mine. Guys, follow my curations at the Christina P on Instagram. I am put them in my stories. Well, welcome, welcome to your mom's house. This episode of Your Mom's House is brought to you by Sattva. We are huge fans of Sattva. Why? Because we've been sleeping on a Sattva mattress for over a decade. We have tried them all. The luxury firm mattress. We've tried the memory foam mattress from Lumen Leaf, their line. If you're into memory foam, that is the one for you. One thing I'll tell you about memory foam, it's not what I thought it would be. It is way more comfortable. It is like the bed molds itself to you. It becomes like a bespoke bed for your body. It's not as, you don't sink into it the way I imagined you would. And I'm a big fan. I still have the Lumen Leaf mattress. We also have the Solaire, which moves around, which has a zero gravity setting, which I think is nice after a long, stressful day. You're going to spend a lot of time in your bed. You should be. You should be getting great sleep. If it matters to you, you should sleep on an awesome mattress. So if you go to Sattva, S-A-A-T-V-A dot com slash the shit, You'll get two hundred dollars off any mattress of your choice. And it's fucking morning. Good morning. Um, Welcome to your mom's house. Um, it's fucking morning. It's fucking morning. Uh, we're here. We're queer. We're not get going used anywhere. To it. <laughs> Please do not use gendered language. <laughs> that might be my favorite drop in the recent years. Really? Yeah, that one, because I don't know if you guys know this, but to get warmed up for the show, Tom will play drops from the board and we'll kind of go down memory lane. Oh, that's so gay. <laughs> yeah. And nothing makes me laugh every time, like the point of personal privilege, people. Yeah. That Please one... <laughs> do not use gendered language. <laughs> it's such a stupid thing. It's so gay. It's gay. It's retarded. Retard. Yeah. Yeah. Fully retarded. <laughs> and good. that always makes me laugh, too. Yeah. But I've laughed at that word since I was a little kid. Like, remember when you learned that word? Sure. On the schoolyard and you were like, oh, I'm going to use this word forever. It's yeah. so funny. And then, you know. It's great. It's a great word. It kind of is. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I really like that. Yeah. Garth. Don't Garth. be retarded. Don't be retarded. 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 You are completely retarded. That one's cool because she's cool. teaching people how to speak English. She is. Retarded. <laughs> and that's retarded. The, that's the day we had the computer say it, which is even better. There's all kinds of good stuff in here, man. Yeah. 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 Um, I'm retarded, too. Yeah. Can I tell you what I tried? Yeah. Apropos our last discussion about leg washes. Sure. This morning, I washed my legs. And my feet in the shower. Did you really? Yeah. God, so you sat down like you sat on the bench? No, I'm an idiot. I still forgot what that girl said, you know? So I lifted. You bent down? I lifted one leg up at a time, and then I balanced. So, like, I would still have a bum ankle. You, you know? have a bench in the shower. I know. I'm an idiot. I forgot. But it's cold. I don't want to sit on the cold bench. And then I... I washed my feet, but then the problem is you put your foot down and then it's all slippery because there's soap on there and there's soap on the shower. So I'm, I'm opposed to it still. Okay. <laughs> Ta-ta there, retard. <laughs> well, did you try it even yet? No, I'm not going to do it. Well, you're just, at, you're just anti I'm not leg black. washes. I'm not going to fucking <laughs> wash my legs and feet. You think that's just a black people thing? Clearly. Well, and he's the only one here who took the day off. <laughs> washes his legs and feet. No, I don't, I don't think it's a black thing. I think using a washcloth is for poor people, but yeah. I don't think that washing your legs and feet is for black people. I agree. I think the washcloth is a poor person um, thing. Because I, I, I've only met poors who use them. I've I've never met. Wait, but is it also European? Because I I have European friends that do it as well. Maybe maybe they're poor. I don't know. I don't know. But we never did in my house. I don't. No, there was no disgusting. time for that. No, I've ended friendships when I saw <laughs> washcloths. I'm serious. I don't want that stink on me. You know yeah. that like poor stink. Yeah, but I don't understand. I guess it's it is just so that you don't have to touch your hands to your genitals. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we, 
We don't have that much soap to go around. <laughs> Get out is here. that the utility? Or is the utility like, I don't have to touch my bare butt or my bare genitals? I don't know. My bare. I, th- I think it's more of a puritanically rooted thing of like, I don't want to touch my bits. I mean, let's Google it. Why do people use wa- washcloths? I'm not sure I understand the utility. It's like, why do people buy hot dogs from 7 Eleven? You know, I know. It's, it's like, yeah. I don't know. Do you I know, know. People are just retarded. They can help provide exfoliation yeah. that ranges from gentle to intense. You can easily control the amount of pressure you use. You know, if you're notably poor, you can save money. <laughs> yeah. Now, a loofah. Is rich people stuff. Yeah, that that, that you, makes it like it like makes the suds come out more. It's that, like super soapy. Yeah, and I feel like that's more your jam. Yeah, I mean I I do them one use only. I throw them away. But a I, loofah, uh, you're, yeah, you're supposed to use those more than once for sure. Don't care. I just buy another wow, one. Wow, you um, are rich. Jeez. I uh, let's see. Oh, they can but see they can harbor yeah. mold and germs and bacteria, something yeah. that the pores don't even acknowledge. <laughs> yeah. Um, in addition to various strains of bacteria, shower, uh, what is it? Poops can also Poops. Ho- yeah, harder, harbor yeast. Oh, yeah. That's, this is why I'm against washcloths or yeah. loofahs, really, because they do harbor back. They're moldy. Here's the, here we go. This is about hand wash. Okay. Pros, clean, cleaning your body with your hands has advantages. You can obviously cleanse your skin with your hands anytime. Unless yeah. your hands are rough, you receive a gentle, mild cleanse. Uh, great for those with sensitive skin. The, the so whatever doctor recommends, clean your your skin with your hands over a shower loofah or washcloth. That's a CEO board certified dermatologist. Just maybe consider that. Um, the one thing that hands don't do particularly well: exfoliation. Okay, what I mean, the verdict: use your hands. That's the verdict. I I think so. It's perfectly fine. If you want to use a washcloth, just move out, live outside. That's what it's basically saying. <laughs> live outside. Live like under an a bridge and get a washcloth. <laughs> it's essentially what the article says. I mean, but who wants to launder those washcloths to, as well, Tom? Yeah. One more thing to fucking put in the laundry? No, let's, thanks. Uh, let's open this show. Uh, up. Ready? You ready to sure, go? Let's sure. Let's do it. Sure. Here we go. Hey, guys. The guy <laughs> I thought was my boyfriend turned out to be a sexual predator. So I had to call the police on him. They wanted to arrest him. All right. <laughs> hey, guys. Who is Ryan? Don't bring your mother to this. Go, Mom, in the fucking stand. Well, welcome. <laughs> welcome to your mom's house with Tom Sakura. Tom Sakura. And Christina Pajitsi. That's a good one. To your mom's, mom's house. house. I gotta tell you, I hate to admit it, but you were right. It's time to shit. I gotta go to the bathroom. I fucking knew it. Yeah. Can I tell you guys, before we were taping, the dog was standing here and Tom squirted out some nasty squirrely farts. And I go, You better go dump. And you're like, No, I'm going, You better shit now because then you're just gonna have to pause when we're recording. I, I could tell, you're like my infant, like my newborn. I can tell just by the farts what's gonna happen any moment. The cries. I know you. I know you, man. So fuck it. I was so po- fuck, Go shit. You're all. You're never not shitting. This is this is what I was saying on the last time when we had our contest. You're always ramping up to shit, discussing the shit, the shit you just had. You gotta get it going, bud. <laughs> <laughs> all right. I will. Uh, I will Go be shit. back in just a moment. <laughs> Wow. Yeah. All done. All done. Yeah. See, you were right. I was right. right. Now, now, Yana, had we had this moment on last episode when we had our little contest, you would have lost. And Someone's a gambler and someone's not. <laughs> um, let I'm me ask a, a quick question. Upset. Whose idea was it to put uh, wet wipes in the toilet? Uh-oh. 
I don't know. I just came in one day and they were there all of a sudden. That's a nice addition, I think. It was uh, it was Ryan. It was Ryan. Mm-hmm. Smart Ryan. Smart Ryan. Yeah. Really game changed. Completely. I mean, we're not home. Yeah. So I don't have the wonderful washlet that just cleans out my whole asshole. So to have flushable wipes at work. It's a big diff. Amazing. I started purchasing them at airports now when I have my horrendous morning yeah, dumps. I told you to. Yeah. Yeah. Game change. Yeah. The guy I thought was my boyfriend turned out to be a sexual <laughs> predator. Yeah. I thought that TikTok was going to go, because she starts off with, hey guys, I thought it was going to be like, I found a new recipe for blueberry muffins. And then it was that instead. Took oh, a real also, turn. I just noticed that you have to read it the other way, that she has a cool... Cool, fun sign on her wall. Al alcohol. Alcohol because um, I can't read. I don't, it's not big enough. Something begins with, what's it say? No great story begins with someone eating a salad. Eating, eating a, a salad. salad. Not true. She put that, by the way, that's like in her living room. <laughs> you know, like there's those framed photos of family, and then she's like, alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's pretty great clear clear message what her hobbies are yeah i love my kids yeah and i love to drink yeah yeah you know it's funny because i um was i was i listening to pajama pants rob eiler and yeah yeah jamie lynn and um, yeah anyway they're all podcasts and they were going through people's profiles like singles profiles yeah and it was they were it was alarming at how many people had drinks in their hands and their pictures or were like i love drinking brunch yeah. sunday brunch i get hammered and you're like don't put that in your profile drinking. it's a hobby drinking shouldn't be a hobby this is how much of a remember how you said i was 40 when i was 22 yeah this is how much of an old man i was when i was <laughs> 21 i lived in dc i was working in dc for a short while you know mm -hmm. and uh my cousin uh set me up with a girl from Pura, which is a, a part of Puerto Rico, Peru. Oh. So I get Pura. on the phone with her yeah. and she's, you know, just, we're just like, Oh, how are you? You know, I've never met her anything. And she goes, uh, yeah. Like you want to go out like, just get some drink. You want to go drinking? You want to get some drink? And she kept saying it. And I was like, nah, <laughs> too many. Yeah. I was like, uh, I don't think so. I, I think, uh, I think we have different interests. <laughs> I was 21 years old. Yeah, and you sensed that because it was like it was like go drinking versus well, yeah. and getting she, a and drink. I, what I sensed was like you're just um, you're just like a hey like <laughs> fuck, let's, get, let's get some more drinks and I was just already repulsed. I was like oh, we're not gonna have a good time. I'm not gonna like you. Just so you know, I basically told her I won't like. I know I won't like you. So let's just not meet. You know? That's great. Yeah. Because and he I, told me she was very attractive, and that wasn't even enough to be like to get over what a fucking dipshit I thought she was. The booze, the phone. yeah. We he, talked twice on the phone, and, and the second time yeah. I was like, "You're fucking dumber than I thought you were." You know? <laughs> wow, I can't believe I made the cut. Cause... Yeah, she was like, "Let's go, let's go out drinking. You want to get some drinks? Because I know a place we can get drinks. <laughs> you know, <laughs> <laughs> fucking loser." That's what she sounds like now. That's probably what she sounds like. Well, yeah, that was 20 some years ago. So yeah. she, if she's drinking, it, there's a distinction between. Drink, you know, a place we get drink, we go to areas <laughs> drink and they've got good bars. We can get some drinks there. And it's like, what the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> Relax. Yeah. yeah. It was like, remember when we lived um, by the beach in California? We lived in Redondo. Oh, my God. Beach towns are booze bag central. They're, they all they did. Hermosa. Uh, yeah, Redondo <laughs> and Manhattan, right? That's the South Bay. Yeah. And they're actually spread out, right? Like, I mean, meaning they're all next to each other, but, the t you know, there's the beach part and then you go inland. But if you are near the beach, <laughs> it's just drunks. Drunks like the water and the sand. And they, they love beach. You just always see somebody in flip-flops, <laughs> board shorts, and a hoodie who's like... <laughs> all time. Hey! And you're like... How's it going? I love it. And we even had neighbors. I, I, do you know when you like you have a thought that you think about every yeah. once a week? I yeah. think about this thought. We had a neighbor, two ladies who lived. Our house was in between them. Okay. Yeah. One lady 
would go over to the other lady's house around 10 a.m. and then start drinking and they would drink together all day. Now, one of those ladies was in really good shape. Yeah. And I asked her, I asked her, I was like, how are you this fit? Because I know you like to party with so-and-so. And she's like, well, that's why I run five miles a day. I mean, yeah. why do you think I run? So I can drink an entire bottle of So I can of drink wine. all the time. <laughs> I was like, yeah. And I always think about that cool logic. I think the like, funny thing, <laughs> yeah. In shape so yeah. that I can destroy my body, I dummy. get fucked up. Uh, <laughs> I've had contempt, <laughs> contempt for drunks my whole life, you know? And yeah. I don't know what the origin of it is, but, you know, in co even in college, I didn't like, you know, I, of course I've been drunk. I don't want to make it sound like I'm You're never, a good drunk, I'm, by the way. Yeah. You're the most fun. I'm a good drunk. You are a party. But I never like people that like, I feel like drunks, you know, they ruin everything. Like they just yeah. ruin. Like, and I, oddly enough, I got into a line of work where you just deal with drunks. Isn't that so funny? my contempt for them has grown. My disdain for drunks has grown over the last 20 years because I work in a field that just deals with drunks. Even with, like, I have not been an audience member in a long time, you know, for a comedy show. We went yeah. to see Chris Rock. Yeah. And we sat there and these <sighs> fucking drunks, right? Root. I was like, oh yeah, this is like when I'm on stage and I'm like, what's going on over there? Yeah. And they're just, and then security came by, the police came by mm -hmm. to escort them out, to throw them out. And of course it takes you out of the show. You're like, the fuck are you doing? And you see other people going like, can you shut up? And what, what is the one common denominator? Just alcohol, just mm -hmm. too much alcohol. Too much. And they're just a mess, right? And there's just, yeah. And I think if you, you work in a field like, like in ours, there's just a, a thing you're just going to have towards those people like towards yeah. drunks you oh, know yeah. so like it's it's definitely just been a thing where and and can and can you imagine too like chris rock you're gonna go see chris rock and yeah. you bought your tickets months ago and you and your and a lot of people came so dressed up i'll never forget yeah. how good that audience yeah looked. everybody was dressed up beautiful women look great everyone wore their outfits and then to have your entire night ruined ah uh, you know that they were doing too it was the worst Not cool it wasn't it wasn't heckling drunks <sighs> just end up having conversations oh yeah so they're just chatting yeah they're just sitting there going like no nah, jessica <laughs> was she no she didn't like, she was a yellow one she got a yellow one and you're just sitting there like the fuck are you yeah. like, and then the people would turn around i remember because the girl there was like can you please stop talking yeah sorry sorry no <laughs> Because no, she said she was going to go there lit. And they just go right back go to right it. Go right back to know? it. And then they get irate when you try to shush Yeah, like, them. what are you, why are you fucking... God, I'm just trying to shut up. You shut up. And you're like, oh boy, here we go. You've got back-to-back -back meetings, errands to run, and chores to take care of. What's the secret to clearing your to-do list? A little help from DoorDash. You can get dinner, household essentials, and everything on your grocery list delivered. Along with the restaurants you love, you can now get groceries and other essential items delivered with DoorDash. Get drinks, snacks, and other household items in under an hour. With over 300,000 partners, you can support your neighborhood go-tos or choose from your favorite national restaurants like Popeye's, Chipotle, Cheesecake Factory. With DoorDash, you're not just getting the things you love, but supporting the community you love too. For a limited time, our listeners can get 50% off their first order of $15 or more when you download the DoorDash app and enter the code HOUSE. That's 50% off your first order of $15 or more when you download the DoorDash app in the App Store and enter the code HOUSE. Don't forget, that's code HOUSE for 50% off your first order with DoorDash. Subject to change, terms apply. Speaking of entertaining drunks, I'd like to plug my dates now. This would be a great opportunity. Also, I've noticed that Instagram has, what is it, blacklisted me? What is that, shadow, shadow ban, shadow danced me? That people can't, I'm telling you, at the Christina P, you follow me. Okay, ChristinaPOnline.com okay. for my dates. Here are my dates. Breast Balls Beach, January 20, 21st. Um, in your at Addison, in your Astison, Texas, February 2nd, 3rd, and 4th. Women are stupid. Portland, Oregon, March 31st. Oregon. <laughs> April 1st, uh, Scronert Park, California. Ah! <laughs> April 20th. Chicago, Jizanoi. It's a wild, it's a wild, it's a kink. <laughs> April 30th, Milk Cocky. It's just like the gays. Pisconsin. That was a good one. May 13th in Cumming Charles, Charlestowns, West Virginia. Fuck me, my ass, man. At the Christina P on Instagram. Don't let the man 
stop you from finding me. <laughs> it's good. That was good. That was real good. Well. <clears throat> Speaking okay. of drunks. Um, I cannot get over those drops from the last episode. I know. It made me LOL so this, hard. We were talking about drunks and how much it is fun to to laugh at them and, and you know. Make fun of their brain damage Yeah, and stuff. laugh at the holes in their brain and the stupid <laughs> shit they say and know that you're better than them. And then... Uh, <laughs> We were so we we applied we we found that dude yes uh, last week whatever it was a couple weeks ago this fucking piece of shit <laughs> and uh, <laughs> and then <laughs> you know we we ended up we ended up finding the other fucking Irish drunk <laughs> that guy and then it reminded me I was like oh what about the other fucking piece of shit. Um, <laughs> this fucking loser from also a few years ago. Dan, what does the reopening of the pub mean to <laughs> Joe Kelly? Uh, it means a pub because I had to drink for the last two years. <laughs> what? <laughs> Joe with the hat, the hat in the middle here. Oh, what, this guy. What does the reopening of the pub uh, this guy. In mean to you? Well, it means a lot because we keep up the tradition of the singing and music and everything like that. <laughs> and we have dancing and everything. It's fucking eight in the morning. It's right at the bar. Oh, she's right now. You can be on back to It's fucking drunk. Well, Mike, the question too was like, what is this pub's culture? What does it yeah. mean to you? And he's like, we're keeping up the culture of what? The drunks. Of what? Yeah. You're just and, drunk. And you missed the pub and it, when it burnt down. You missed it by the answer. When we had the video, we now let him leave. We have to spin it. Just the biggest job. We, we, can, we can spin it. What the yeah. fuck is yeah. he yeah. saying? Yeah. That nose is. Oh, amazing. I mean, this is. 60 years of drinking every day yeah. for your, you know. Does it rot your teeth out too? I imagine the lack of nutrition. Mm, maybe. Oh, fuck. You want to see. Wait, he's wearing the Harry Potter sorting hat though. It's pretty cool. Yeah. Which house great. do you think? And what, what's it like to have the, the pub opened? So it's great. Like, you, oh, wow. Should... Young drunks. Uh, yeah. A guy who hasn't yet fucking <laughs> turned over. <laughs> yeah. Um, Go get your pints. <laughs> God. You got to drink your pints. <laughs> <laughs> they love drinking their pints, guys. That's they all do, they want to fucking do. Yeah. Jesus Christ. Could you imagine? That's all you do. That's a big pub culture over there, right? Get get off work. Go to the pub. Go do anything. Meet at the pub. The pub. The pub. The, the pub is really a cultural. It is. It is. It's where oh, they go. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Well, you know, Americans don't even have the excuse of like, well, it's the pub. We all go there. We just drink in our houses like losers. Yeah. At least these guys are friends. Yeah, they have a community. That's kind of nice. <laughs> yeah, a bunch of other alcoholics yeah. that they drink with. I drink with my my friends. Yeah. yeah. These other losers that I kick it with. <laughs> they lose their teeth. I found a, a cool guy. Where is this cool guy? Where's the rock cool guy? What's this called? <laughs> oh, rock cool guy. Okay. This is a guy that's definitely a drunk, yeah. but he's not drunk in this. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, as soon as I saw him, I was like, this guy drinks all day and night. Yeah. And he recorded this in the moment that he wasn't. And I was, you tell me I if you can think, uh, understand why he, like, how I know that he's a drunk. Okay. I have rocks, boys and girls. <laughs> See the greatness. <laughs> I done stacked me up some rocks, man. <laughs> well, I got bored. <laughs> Fish slowed down. It's hard as hell to do that, believe it or not. Fucking rocks don't like me. <laughs> I think I'll leave it here for what you enjoy. Thank you. Anyways, Thank go you. stack you some rocks. Give it hell. Thanks. Got it. Okay. Peace. Now, I know that... Such a Florida guy. Such a, I was just going to say, where is this piece of shit from? Oh, he's from Florida. <laughs> yeah. 
Because that I've now, met this guy about two hundred and fifty right. times. Yeah. It is funny because I always think about our discussion of like Florida garbage, and this guy is hundred percent Florida trash. Florida piece of shit. Yes. And I, and okay, let me see if I can guess why. Number one, the dolphin necklace. They always have stupid jewelry yeah. on, like bad a bad dumb necklace. Always a bad dumb fucking necklace for yeah. sure. And then it's the shades. Like those are f- such Florida garbage. Yeah. Sunglasses. Oh, they are. No, yeah, those the, those are three dollars. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sun kissed hair. Uh, cool rock collection for sure. Very, he's very amused by his rocks. <laughs> Look at the schnoz on this guy. I mean, oh, that's that, potato. That's a fucking. He got that was straight up gin. He just poured gin into his Ugh. nose for thirty years, <laughs> and that nose grew. <laughs> and then, because he's so hammered, he doesn't put sunblock yeah. on either. I'll say this Skin's though: all leathery. <laughs> As a boyfriend, not demanding. He's actually a decent boyfriend. When he's not beating you and he's not drunk. I don't think he's violent. You think he gets angry? I don't eh, he gets angry. I don't think he's violent. He's just you know what he's gonna do? I know what he's gonna do. He's not gonna be where he said he was gonna be. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's not gonna remember your birthday or anniversary. Right. Where's Dirk? He's never gonna show up for But you know what? Parties. He's not gonna ask a lot of you either. No, that's so. true. But he will mouth off. Yeah, he's, he's he, mouthy. He'll be like, ah, you stupid bitch. You're he's not as thin as you used to be. Like, he's the no. good. He's a good guy for when you're like, you know what? I don't want to get married. <laughs> I, I just want a companion that knows how to fish. A dumb companion, <laughs> yeah. God. And uh, who every once in a while has a bag of Coke on him and just, yeah, he's a good time, man. Oh, you, you know, know what, what he hates? Work. <laughs> oh, this guy's never had a never had a job oh, day in yeah. my life. He's you know like, what I'm saying? Yeah, you know, I was working over at the Marina, fucking assholes. What'd they do? And now he's like, ah, where were you? <laughs> you know, it's like, yeah. It's always someone else's fault yeah, while he's getting like, fired. Oh, they're always like, How come you weren't there in the morning? Yeah. Like, yeah, you know, yeah. Fucking, I got all these rocks now, though. <laughs> Right, because he's spending all his time balancing those rocks on top of He got other. good at that. <laughs> Imagine if he applied that to scrubbing barnacles off the bottom of a boat. He'd uh, still have a gig. And they're always, Florida trash, too, is really skinny. Yeah. They're not, like, like these type of garbage Floridians yeah. are just, why they're always, like, rail thin. Is, yeah. it, is it, like, drugs, meth, and stuff? It's all that. He can't even get sunburned, this guy. He's got no. so many layers. <laughs> A oh, burn skin. That's another. That's another. That can't burn. Florida crazy. Yeah. yeah. There's always the beach walker yeah. who's razor thin like that, and then leathered as shit, right? Like super leathery, and they just I walk would, the I, beach. I, I would Ugh. love to ask this guy. What was the longest? What's the longest stretch of time you've been sober no. that you can recall? And he'd be like, "What year was I born?" <laughs> <laughs> Oh, fuck. Yeah, this guy is such a piece of shit. You think he's good in bed? No. He passes out. Yeah. He's got a limp dick from That's true. booze. Yeah, like he's, he's got... Yeah. He's, he's into drugs in a good time more than he is into his dick at this point. Like, he doesn't even give a shit about his hair. Or like he's look, He looks bad. Yeah. The dolphin necklace is such a tell. That's really? when I was like... Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, that guy's Florida. The dolphin necklace? Yeah. That is strictly Florida. Yeah, it's pretty. You know what's so funny too is that I always picture your sisters. They make me laugh so hard because you guys are not Florida. In my well, in we my, moved there. We're not. We're not Floridians. We're not really. of that. Yeah. 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 So <clears throat> you guys culturally are not that way at all. And I just I love it when you guys like. Yeah. <laughs> I just hear your sisters' voices being. Like, we have just been <laughs> your sisters being like. <laughs> being like, yeah, it's fucking gross, fucking trash. Yeah. We moved there. So yeah, it's not your culture. We're never there. We're never. We're still not. No. I think they've been there twenty five years, and they're still not considered Floridians. Not at all. Same thing, by the way. A lot of places are like that, though. You know, when you go to the, I feel like when you go to Maine, you realize that what a person from Maine is like. And I'm, I'm not bagging on them. I'm just saying it's so distinct. They're so clearly their own Maineians. Maineians. That you're a visitor. You know, yeah, and I think like there's a real Florida type that is like native to Florida. You know who's the Floridian is uh, Big Dumb Steve, my friend. You know? <laughs> totally, and he's a Floridian. Big you know? Dumb Steve, and he's yeah. like the best though. Yeah, he's, but sweet. he's sweet. He's a sweet version. He's so Floridian. He's the best that Florida has to offer. That's so yeah. true. Yeah, 
<laughs> That's the biggest job. We, we, can, we can spend it. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah. I, I really would like to know, like, why it, it really makes me laugh to know that they've given themselves brain damage. Like, that you did this to yourself yeah. is astounding. It's because it's self-imposed. Yeah. It's crazy that you would let yourself be like, I don't fucking care. Some people Ooh. have a real distinction for when it's funny and when it's not. And it's like, for instance... <laughs> If you do something to yourself, they'll go, that's funny. But if you see somebody get tied up in some machinery and twisted around and their body thrown apart, then they get upset. Yeah. Because <laughs> they didn't do it to themselves. Yeah, that guy's just trying to make a living. Jeez. Yeah, that guy's just doing his job. Yeah. <laughs> we finally figured out the yeah, line on yeah. horrible or hilarious. And it was really... I don't know if we figured it out. Chad Daniels, who was like, if it's mountain versus man, yeah. mountain's going to win. Yeah, he does. He does. He did get that That was a good down. distinction, yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, <laughs> uh, would you like to do some would you rather? Yes. I haven't done this in a long time. Now, this is because of my my viewing of Wednesday, that TV show that I love, and there's a character on there. Yeah. Who's super tall. Like super tall? Super tall, but she's super pretty. Super tall and super pretty? Is mm -hmm. she legit tall or just like mm -hmm. effect for the show? Um, I think in real life, sees she's super tall. Because okay. I've seen her at press junkets and she looks super tall. What's her it's name? A, it's a lady. I don't know. Can you look it up on Netflix? It's a Wednesday, super tall. It's the principal character. Mrs. Weems. That's her. Gwendolyn Christie. Like, she's super pretty. And I'm pretty sure she, she's, yeah, she's six, six three. three. Fuck. Mm -hmm. Really? Yeah. But look how pretty she is. Let's like see. she's rad and she's all British and stuff. And like she's rad and British. Yeah. Like she's like super cool, like her outfit and like she's rad. She's got powers. Like she's whatever. She's very pretty. But God she's six damn. three. So it got me to thinking. It got me to thinking. Would you rather be six foot three, too tall? But or man. too short as a man. 6'3 is great for a man. But let's say, hold on, let's take it up higher. Like, what's freakishly tall for a man? For a man? Seven. Well, that's f super freaky. But also, life gets, like, really uncomfortable, I'd say, for men over 6'6". 6'6 six, six. Six, six is, is super tall. Oh, wait. But, like, over that, you're, you're already in, in a really small percentage. 95% yeah. of the population is 6'4 or, or under. So, so let's say you're 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 six nine. That's horrible. It's horrible, and your life is like crouching down. Yeah. Everything's custom made. You can't fit in, and you can't be good at basketball in this scenario. You're just freakishly large. Yeah. So, would you rather be freakishly large uh -huh. or a man, but like five four? Freakishly large. Wow. Yeah, because I'm gonna find some. There is some swag in being in being super tall. Like some people, some women are gonna absolutely dig it. Of course, they'll dig you being super short. But as a man that's lived in this world, I'd rather be a little too tall than a little shorter. Yeah, that's true. I guess I'd rather be too short as a woman. Yeah, that's a that's a tough. plus for because I know a lot of dudes like like a lot of dudes like short women. I know. You know, and they get like they're bothered by, you know, they feel threatened by taller women. Yeah. A lot of guys are like that. Um, I never had that. I uh, I, I dated uh, a couple of super tall chicks. I've dated a, a short guy. Yeah. Short was, kings. Yeah. They're fine. Uh, that shit never bothered me at all. Yeah, I'm not too hung up on that. And I don't mind like even a, a tall woman who wears heels and now she's like, I'm like, it doesn't, I don't feel yeah. bothered by it or weird by it at all. Yeah, I'm not really, I'm, I, I'll tell you my thing is because I'm not so much on like, I, I like a little chunky. I don't like too skinny. Um, my judgment is more about teeth. Yeah. Like, truly. Like, that's what I zone in on. It's not so much height or I, weight. It's By the teeth. way, I would date the 6'3 actress. Oh, she's great. I, I, I mean, so like, pretty. her, I, of course, she's beautiful and talented. I'm just saying, like, her being 6'3 would not put me off. That wouldn't put you off. No. Well, that's so nice. Yeah. I, I, I think tall is beautiful. I, I, I think it's a, it's a, I mean, I've dated two girls that were five feet tall. And I just think that you just click with what you click with. Yeah. So I don't, I, I'm not put off by super tall at all. Yeah. yeah. I like that, Tom. And this, is this her? You know what is you should the, do? You should pat it? yourself on the back for being like that. <laughs> um, you even talk to super tall people. Let's see. Uh, can I, I, I can't really see her. 
Like look her up in, in Wednesday. Google her in Wednesday because I like her whole aesthetic and you'll see why. She and I share an aesthetic. Like That's her? Bleed, like white hair, red lip. Yeah, she's very, I like her whole steez. I assume she's been in a bunch of other stuff too. Oh, right? I'm sure, yeah. She was in Game of Thrones. That's what she's most oh. known for. And uh, Star Wars too. Oh, she does a lot of like uh, special Character effects stuff. Character stuff, okay. yeah. Yeah, she's really cool. Um, very cool. So there's that one. Yeah, she and can get it. She can get it, yeah. She's gorgeous. I like her. Okay, and then I thought, what's worser? Is or that just, your would you rather? Would you rather be tall or short? Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> too tall or too short. Okay. <laughs> took took this one a little easy, I guess. Okay. Well, all right. They can't all be winners. That's time. true. That's true. <clears throat> but what's worse, um, forgetting to put on deodorant when you leave the house, uh -huh. or not brushing your teeth enough? You know when you Yeah, yeah, yeah. Those are good. This is a good one. Well, thanks. Yeah, the first one was absolutely disastrous. Hey, you know go. what? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You lost the shitting burping contest today. There wasn't a contest today. It should have been. Okay. That's a good one. Well, thank you. So finally. Um here's the thing about let's let us walk through the logic here. The deodorant is bothersome, but you'll forget. Like you can, you can go, oh, I didn't put it on. And like, you're going to, you're just going to surprise yourself. You know what I mean? It's kind of a surprise. You know what I mean? Like you'll be distracted. You'll be in conversations, blah, blah, blah. And then all of a sudden you might just go like, oh my God. <laughs> right. Like you, you get a whiff or for some reason, you know, like you're like, oh shit. Yeah. And so, but it feels like it's your secret. It's you know? your secret. It really does. Yeah. Um, I feel like the mouth doesn't leave you. Ugh. If you don't brush you know right away you didn't, and then your mouth has that <laughs> taste, that feeling that it doesn't go away. The deodorant thing, you forget that you didn't have it on. Mm. So I'd rather deal with that because I'll just know like, well, I'm not going to walk around with my arms up, you know. I have gone to the gym uh, <laughs> without deodorant, and, like, and, then I, and then you're sweating more, and you're like, oh, I stink. <laughs> like, I stink. <laughs> And I know that people yeah. around me are like, this guy fucking stinks, you know? Not this guy. Tom Segura, the famous comedian, well, stinks. I don't know. I, and I you're think, like, that, that's the word on the street. I'm just like, I can't help it. I grind so hard. I can't. Do that. My stink goes through my deal. Stupid. Um, but yeah, I think I would definitely. What would you take? See, okay. If I don't put on deodorant, yeah. I'm thinking about it all day. Like, remember when we recorded your mom's house? Like, I don't. I'm not super sweaty, yeah. but I do obsess over it because then I'll be worried that I stink. Yeah. Uh, so I'm going to choose the deodorant. I, I would rather not have brushed my teeth fully because then I can chew gum and like mask it because I brush my teeth a lot. So it's like if I kind of, you know, skip on, not skip, but like a lazy brush, yeah. I'll be okay. Uh, but I get more nervous about not wearing deodorant because I don't like how it feels to sweat. I don't like feeling the wetness there. Yeah. And then getting paranoid about the smells. Like it's the worst when you like I've been on the treadmill and you're like oh my god I forgot I forgot deodorant yeah and then I'm, and I'm alone in the house and I'll go run and put it on seriously <clears throat> yeah because I get really upset don't with you myself. get a little excited if you build a smell to smell it no not with the armpits no oh that's one of my favorite ones that's the one you like to build the most well it's like if I didn't wear deodorant and it's I'm not sweaty. I'm, I got to be dry. And later I'm like, ooh, that smells. Then I want to just kind of keep smelling it, you know? Mm -mm. You know what I hate the most? No, I know what you're saying. Yeah, and you're like, ooh, that smells. <laughs> yeah. Let's see how far this can go. Yeah, and then I get kind of bummed out that it doesn't smell that much. Yeah, you want to go further would... with the smell. <laughs> I wish it smelled more. Yeah. Yeah. Because sometimes I'll wake up and I won't shower. <laughs> yeah. And I won't put on deodorant and yeah. then I'll work out. And I'm like, I'm too smelly. I don't like this. Sometimes I'll wake up, shower, work out, shower again. Because I hate that like funky <sighs> sweat. Sweat. Which race do you think smells the worst? Oh. I mean, here's what I'll say. I'm, here's what I'll say. Say it. I think the white, I'm like impressed. super healthy uh -huh. vegan, uh -huh. like those people probably smell the worst. They do smell like shit. 
because you're not eating a balanced diet. You're talking about the city of Portland, of course, right now. Yes. Right. Like, I, honestly, I think like, yeah, crunchy. like crunchy, hippie dirt bags that yeah. are like, I don't, I don't With use aluminum deodorant. Embrace woke ideology. A hundred percent. And yeah. like, oh, you know how you can treat a yeast infection? Yeah. You can treat it naturally by yeah. putting yogurt in your pussy. Like, that's not how you treat that. Point of personal privilege. Yeah. Those like people. Those people that are like, yeah. oh, you know how to ward off a cold? Eat garlic cloves yeah. whole. Yeah. And yeah. you're like, yeah. don't do that. You're, it's going to make you smell. Gargle urine and it'll yeah. cure all your problems. Yeah. Those people smell the worst. Yeah. I mean, because other stuff is cultural. Like my Indian stepdad ate a bunch of Indian food. So theoretically, he should have smelled like that, right? Yeah. But he didn't. I mean, maybe my whole house smelled like him, so I don't know. Well, you know who else smells terrible? Yeah. We keep up the tradition of singing and the music and everything like that. And we have dancing and everything. That guy. <laughs> it's he neat smells. that the kids get to play around that too. And like Drunk smell. See that. Yeah. Oh, drunks are the worst. Do you know why? Because they, they're, they're, what is it? Olifactory. Um, region isn't not as effective anymore. Their senses kind of fade. Yeah, you kill them. And also, it's not a priority anymore because they're just like, I just want to be drunk. <laughs> That's cool. I don't care. Which race do you think smells the worst? Oh, let's move on. So, <laughs> wait. Well, okay. I will say Europeans in the summertime don't often shave their pits or wear deodorant. Oof. I've been in Hungary, in Budapest in summertime and some of those nasty bitches with their pits. I'll say this. I've never, I, I'll, that I'll, I'll say this. I've never, I'm not saying that, I mean, everybody can smell, obviously. I've never like had a, an encounter with like a stinky Asian woman ever no, hold in on. my life. Let me think. You know what? What? The Asian guy that I dated. Yeah. Never caught a whiff. He'd never stank either. Like, I don't think. Maybe because they're sweat. less hair. Yeah, there's and not hair a lot traps, of hair. sweat, and smells. Definitely. So but, they're more but you know what you do smell in Korea? Mm. Garlic. Uh, Through everything. Like I'm saying, like the hotel always, was like garlic. The peat, like garlic. Got you. It's that's that's a cultural like I will garlic. say in public. Do you know who always has this is not a natural thing. This is like products and and but who always has like the nicest smells to mm. them black women yeah they do smell nice they yeah. always smell like they have like fresh something like on it's products like, yeah. yeah lotions and always smell fresh now the yeah. french do sticky not. they smell like shit no like i've been in france in the summertime you don't want to be there yeah i think europeans fucking stink the worst because i've been in the i've been in the middle east in like the middle of summer and Dang. you would think yeah. like you would think because they're wearing like the robe the white the men are wearing out. and it's a hundred and fucking 30 and the women are covered i didn't catch a whiff of anybody yeah but if you go to like hang out with greeks and italians and well stinky do you think the italians are stinky yeah really you hairy. smelled italians oh sure it's hairy and sweaty yeah hairy and gross hairy and gross <laughs> <laughs> sniff that one yeah yeah i've smelled stinky Spaniards, Italians, uh, Portuguese. I mean, they're hairy. They're they hairy. got hair. I think it's really. I think this is really about hair. Could be. That's yeah. really good. That's a good theory. And who's who's the hairiest? Yeah, it's kind. Of, it kind of is. Yeah. Um. Yeah, it's kind of true. That's the stinky people. Who's the stinkiest person you've been with? Stinkiest person. Like stinkiest hookup. I'm trying to think. I know uh, one. I don't know. Really? You you go first though. Um. It is hair because this guy was really hairy and it trapped the smells. He was, and it it's in your memory still. Yep. <laughs> I'm hairy. Is it me? No. Oh. Because we worked at a coffee place, oh. and whenever you work in a food place you always come home smelling like whatever food you're working with all day so when i worked at the indian restaurant that yeah. was gnarly i came home smelling like shit coffee like it's all in your hair it's in your clothes so then we'd make out after you know working together at starbucks and then like well there's two that i like can, rotten milk i mean there's okay there was one girl the worst like mm, smell i ever like pussy smells was was a one night stand mm -hmm. and she was hairy down there like a lot and it wasn't very nice. Was she old? 
No, but she was just, she also, you know, whatever. I, I don't remember much other than I didn't like her that much, you know? Yeah. Um, and then there was a girl who, uh, you know, her ass kind of always stunk. And it just didn't matter what was done to her. <laughs> it didn't me? matter. It didn't matter, like, if she had just taken a shower. You're like, stop your, it. I swear. Like, she had leaky butt or something? Something like that. I was like, what the fuck, man? You know? I like, why don't let me wash it? And then, <laughs> of course, I didn't tell her, but yeah, I was like, Ugh. that's gross. Yeah, she, she stunk too, but it wasn't hair. It was just like her body just releasing the evil within her, you know? <laughs> yeah. You know what? <clears throat> I think, I believe this, that like you're attracted to somebody because of their smell, yeah, unconscious. That's true. Yeah. And like your smell, mm -hmm. I love your smell. And when I'm pregnant with your children, mm -hmm. I love your smell even more. Yeah. Do you like my smell? Well, I mean, I must like This is smell. a Chad Daniels question. Yeah. This would infuriate him. Yeah. But you must enjoy my musk as well because we're we're bonded pair. Yeah. We're fluid bonding. We've been fluid bonding. I mean, I'm, I, yeah, it's, it's deep within our brains at this point too. Oh boy. It's yeah. not just like surface level. Oh, I like the way you smell. It's like, you know, yeah. it's way in there. It's way in there. Way in there. Yeah. I'm like, I've been with you for so long. I don't even smell your dumps anymore. Like you really? just, uh, just took a shit yesterday and then I walked in after and didn't really smell it. I think you would have smelled that one. <laughs> <laughs> what happened? Actually, it was great. It was great. I did something I don't normally do this morning. What? I woke up and I made a steak. What? Yeah. For breakfast? For breakfast, yeah. Jesus Christ. And an egg too? No. Just the steak. Well, I had a yogurt with blueberries first. <laughs> and then I had a steak. Yeah. You pregnant? You okay? I don't know. You needed that protein, I, I guess. I did, yeah. Good for you. Mm -hmm. Wow, you're a savage. Yeah. And that's it? Just the steak? Yep. N no rice or anything? Nope. See, I have a theory. Did it and it upset your stomach? Because you, then you came in I here. I didn't upset my stomach. You, but you, yeah. Okay. No, that was fine. You just had to take a dump. Because I have this thing. My dad always told me, like, if you're eating heavy you should put carbohydrate with it. Like if you're eating sausage, you should have like toast. Or yeah, that sounds like some real gypsy fucking logic. <laughs> Is that not true? Yeah. I feel like everybody, stop it. Really? God, this is one of those things my parents told me that's wrong. There's a lot of things they tell you that's wrong. Everything is wrong. Yeah. <laughs> God lot. damn it. There's a lot of things that I love about Hitler. <laughs> Okay. That was your dad right there. I know. I know. That was your dad. I know. Uh, I know. I know. I know. All right. Um, why don't we take a quick break? Will you shit again? No, I don't have to shit. But um, okay. we'll take a little break. <clears throat> and we'll be back with our guests. Okay. Want to do that? I do want to do that, Mama. Oh, yeah. We'll see you soon. Bye. And we're back, and our guest has a new stand-up comedy ah. special on Netflix called What a Day. Give it up for pew Tom pew. Papa. Pew, 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 pew. Yeah. I love Tom. So nice to be here. It's so nice to see your faces. No, we Good to see you, you man. Glad yeah. you're here. I know. It's nice. You came uh helped me with uh some press on my book. It was so great. That was a lot of fun. That was really fun. Thank I you. I think for about doing... that a lot. That, that was, was a good time. Whole weird thing for us to do in the middle of the day it was so strange <laughs> and it was great yeah and it, it was it's a nice departure from the stuff we're used to I yeah mean, you know I, I don't you've done a bunch of books but like for me it was brand new and yeah i don't know and you killed kinda, it. It, it well you kind of go like well this is um this is fun <laughs> and it's uh it's not like you know it's not the same type of there's a t certain stress to stand up press, I think, and yeah. like to you know, like we're doing it. Like yeah. you have a special out. Talk about like, my special, my special. But your book, you're like, I don't know, read it. Yeah. You're like, <laughs> and also the all the places you go to promote the book, like the book people, the book shops, the they're all like kind of cool with whatever happens. Yeah, mm -hmm. you go to do like a signing. There's 20 people. They're like, yeah, that was fun. Yeah, you're like 20 people. Yeah. <laughs> you're like that was, and they're like, success. this was great. Yeah. This is one of the most popular book signings we've ever done. <laughs> yeah. Jesus. But that was really fun. And uh, I broke your toilet on the way out. You did? Oh, yeah. yeah. No, you didn't. I didn't? No, you didn't. My son had turned off the, uh, it was electronic, you know, it was a rental house. And he had turned off the, uh, the you know, the button. Yeah, the, yeah, that was you? 
No, no, that was our son. I know. Yeah. You, you couldn't um, let me off the hook. Well, I just I, I wanted. Think, I've been thinking I kinda, about it ever since. I kind of like, wanted to. Because then I went to Bert's. I went to Bert's a, a couple weeks ago. Yeah, he's the same toilet. Yeah, and uh, you I, broke it too. I broke it too. Yeah. <laughs> Tom Papa will shit at your house. <laughs> no, that's not true. No, I really don't poop. I really don't poop anywhere. No, except what? my house. Okay, good. That's I've like been a, on the road now for like a a week. Just waiting. Just waiting. Wow. Not Did intentionally. You, I think my body just freaks out. You already have your new hour, up. too? Yeah. No. Okay, good. I've God. got like 20. All right. That makes me breathe. And then you put oh, in yeah. and then you put in 40 minutes of crowd work, and that's an hour. There you yeah. 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 I could do crowd work all night. There you go. Yeah. Easy. I'm not, you, I'm not going to freak out. No, don't freak it, it comes, right? You just have to relax. And do you wash your legs in the shower? <laughs> I do, but quickly. You wash your How far? Legs. Do you go all the way? Very to, you quickly. wash your calves and stuff? No, I mean, okay. It sounds like you're, like when you just say it that way, I picture like like a car wash. Like yeah, really getting on it. Yeah, no, no. It's like a I touch everything, but pretty quickly. The blacks they always do their full legs <laughs> with a with a cloth. <gasps> yeah. yeah. Oh, oh yes, they, they do. do. How they true. do. They know. I had this discussion with Patrice O'Neill once. Yeah. What? And he's like, let me tell you what's wrong with you people. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Washcloth. So I was true. like, ew, a washcloth. I know, lower income people use them. Um, <laughs> I do feel recently that, um, and I, it's also, it's an agility thing <laughs> test. Uh, the bottom, the, your feet, you should spend more time on your feet. In yeah. between the toes, bottom of the foot, especially in LA, I'm walking around without yeah. shoes a lot. Yeah. Uh, and I, so when I'm in there and then lifting the leg up to like your waist. Yeah. To scrub well, we just it's, learn that it's good agility it's like oh i can still do this i'm pretty sure my dad at 50 couldn't do this right oh that's like it's kind of a nice win like yeah. dad couldn't do this Look like it's I'm gonna doing. be a marker for me going forward like yeah. when i'm like holding on to a bar and not being able to touch my foot yeah oh, i'll know it's over God. yeah <laughs> was your dad super fat at 50 he wasn't super fat but he had a little belly. He yeah. had like the, the dad belly. But also he can't, I mean, your dad at 50 was in a different world where like now it's like everybody is, hey, keep lifting weights and exercising till you're 80. Like yeah. that, that wasn't a thing. No, my father, no. He's like, he's built like a truck. Oh, he's, he is? Yeah, he's, yeah, he's impressive, like solid dude. Oh, wow. Yeah. Did he, was he exercising? In, in no. The, no, he, he just, just played football his whole life. And just naturally, and it just kind of naturally stayed, stayed yeah. like that. Yeah, yeah. Wow. he still to this day could like my friends like when they would come over, uh, they would ring the bell and then run out on the lawn because they didn't want my father to come and shake their hand because he would always mess with them. You know, yeah, like, he would like shake their hand and bring them to their knees and like, <laughs> and everyone's waiting. I just saw my cousin on Sunday. He's like still waiting for the time when he's able to take my dad. Who's wow, now like seventy seven. <laughs> and and he, he's like still he's like I'm, I'm coming to your nursing home because yeah. that's the only time I'm going to be able to do it because I still can't he's still hurting still has those monster hands still has monster hands and wow. monster forearms he's really wow. forearms and is that from labor like like hard work I, his just, whole life was okay was labor and football and they had no money and they just worked all the time do you have big time. hands I like my size yeah so I mean there's a direct massive. correlation between uh, hand yeah. size and strength you know yeah. Really big hands on people like David Stronger. Yeah. And he did like, he did a lot of labor when he was younger, I guess. That sticks with you. Like, cause yeah. You ever meet somebody that grew up on a farm? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah. You're like, I can't get this jar up when there's like, <laughs> boop. Like, yeah. Oh, sorry. Or just people that did sports in their youth. It sets up your musculature yeah. for like the rest of your life. I did nothing and it shows. <laughs> You look great. <laughs> no, but I mean, I, I like no, like it's yeah. If you right, if you start building muscle mean. tone, like yeah. as a teenager, my, or yeah, something. physiology. I mean, my my dad Gosh, who died, yeah. but his, you know, he was into Olympic lifting, and oh, wow. he had right. even until like even like almost until he died, you could still you know, I mean, by then everything had withered away. But like, but right before he got sick, his traps were still like rocks. Yeah, and his quads were still you That's know, right. and he hadn't done that stuff in years. Yeah, you just have just, it. Yeah, yeah. My daughter's uh, she wasn't in, she was a dancer, and now she just works out all the time. She's seventeen, and you hug her, and it's like a rock. Yeah, it's like dancers solid. have the solid. Dancers and gymnasts, people forget, are like the freakiest athletes of all. Freaky. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. And, and that age, it comes so quick. Oof. Like and her, it her core is probably like just. 
right? tight. Yeah. And, you know, like I could work out the same amount and like maybe get kind of more fit. She'll like go off the charts. Yeah. And then she can stop for a month and still be the same. Crazy. And I stop for three days and I'm Everything back to a falls mosh apart. ball. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> back to a, a matzo ball. God. <laughs> yeah. What I would give to go back and become a dancer. Would you? <laughs> you Which would one would you do? Dancer. Ballet? Yes. Do you know how much pussy <laughs> would crush as a male ballerino? Yeah. Yeah. Bro. I know. I know. And they'd That's be like, the you're move. gay, right? I'd be like, no. And they'd be like, oh, you can fuck all of us. I mean, yeah. Because right. <laughs> it... I yeah. wonder how many male ballerinas are homosexual, but I mean, Mikhail Brzezhnikov a lot, a lot. was hot and yeah. he crushed. Now, Mikhail Brzezhnikov was hot. Even as an oldie, he's good looking. Yeah. He's and his still body, good looking. the rock in his oh, body of all time. Goodness. Yeah. Yeah. And he had the hair and the, the accent. Uh, and the, yes, I yeah. can sleep with anyone I want to. Yeah. That was pimping. He's probably like the only cool male ballerina. And that's though, really right? who you yeah. want to watch. Because <laughs> Gregory <laughs> Hines is the only other dancer I could even name, and he was Tap, so tap, he doesn't yeah. really do it. But Tap's Mikhail, not cool. if no. he would have done a porn, you <laughs> oh know how cool that would be God. to watch a guy like that in bed? Like, I, I'd really yeah. like to Bring watch. Bring on Mikhail Brishnikov. Oh, let's see how he spells this. I don't want to see him oh, in he's bed. He's got it. Oh, he's this is it. Zolo. He knows Brishnikov. Yeah. Look how handsome this man is. I saw him recently. God. He was at a, like a... Uh, country club where my brother-in-law goes and uh he still has it yeah i bet you know european 70 something probably he still has the charm and yeah and you're like you don't want to leave your wife around him no way (laughs) god yeah but google his physique when he was young like prime dancing yeah i mean yeah but you know how funny was he come on nothing no he wasn't no timing Mm-hmm. Um, Tom Papa told me this one time I'm hanging out with him and I had just found I had found like old headshot of myself <laughs> and I was like yeah I was like but you know look at me here and he goes yeah but I don't want to hang out with that guy no <laughs> <laughs> really, yeah that's so true he's like I want to hang out with you I don't want to hang out with that guy I hope not. I hope this doesn't cause a problem. But I just found a hair tie. Oh, on this. Oh. I don't know. I hope this isn't a oh, was that your pocket lotus or, moment? Oh, that was that was in the chair. Oh, it's, it's mm. really nice. I my so pocket. I don't know what goes on here after oh. hours. Uh, <sighs> scrolling through pictures of Barishnikov. <laughs> getting your hair pulled I don't back remember your head, I don't remember your early headshot it was a good one and um, I had just found it and so it was, I think I had put it on Instagram and, uh-huh. I, was, and I was like oh I was, yeah and you were like that's I, I you that's what you said first you go that's you and I was like yeah and I was like yeah you know that was years ago and you're like yeah but I don't want to hang out with that guy babe, babe sorry to I have to say it before I forget it do you remember that club that put your headshot up and Eric Lundy had photoshopped a dildo into the headshot yeah. and the comedy club put it up on their calendar <laughs> they they, did. yeah they put it on their calendar and they also uh, another club uh took a photoshop <laughs> one where they had removed my eyebrows and they were like coming this week and i was like you guys don't even look at of course they don't of They're course like, they don't whatever yeah you know, they don't care who's it we care about chicken wing sales yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 you remember those moments when you were like i'm headlining this club you think it was so important to you oh yeah and yeah. you get there and you realize they don't care. don't care they don't know yeah you're just this next guy this week the best was when i first did a theater my dad came and, yeah. the, and the promoter was there and i had sold out a small theater and my dad's talking to the promoter mm. and he goes uh talking about oh you know He's, uh, you know how funny or whatever and the promoter <laughs> turns to my dad and he goes i don't care if he's funny i care if he sells tickets whoa and, uh, and then my, da- my dad loved that he was like oh that's really like yeah and i go yeah that's what that's how the, all this operates they don't give a yeah. shit what we do up there don't not give at f- all they care that the seats are full that's so disheartening because i yeah. would uh, i know i still come off and i'll see the promoter and i'm like who's it good was yeah. it was yeah it of course you like me yeah was it don't care yeah. is it good <laughs> Yeah, whatever. Here's yeah. your check. Here's your check. Yeah. I gotta, I gotta go pick up my wife. <laughs> <laughs> or you know what's super disheartening is like you do sell out like a big venue. Yeah, and you're yeah. like, you're pretty pleased with yourself, uh-huh. and then the promoter will come back Always. and be like, I know what it is. But you know who sold two shows out last yeah. week? 
They blah, always bring blah. it up. And you're like, did you fucking really just do that to me? Like, all right, there's always yeah. some guy that's going to sell out more than me, <laughs> shit dick. Can I at least enjoy I the one fucking thing? Why do they have to thing? do that? Yeah. Even like a... God. It won't even be the promoter, like some employee. I was at uh, one of these like big casino <laughs> gigs and I had like God. a couple sold out shows. Yeah. And there, one of them goes, oh, like two sold out shows, pretty good. And the other guy yeah. goes, Chappelle did five. And I, <laughs> and I go, I go, oh, the most popular comedian in the world did more shows? Yeah. And he was like, mm -hmm. I, When I was working out this, this special, I went to uh, Irvine Improv. Not, or what's the other one? There's Irvine. Brea. 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 I went to Brea because I had never been to Brea before. And I sold well. And I'm just working out. It's like one of yeah. my last stops before I record. And I'm like, same thing. Like, hey, this is a pretty good weekend, right? I, I always go, how do we do? And like, yeah, we did well. And he says, yeah, you know, Joe Coy did 14 nights in a row. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah. 14 nights sold out in a row. I was like, yeah. all right, so yeah. I'm garbage. Yeah. I'll, uh, what part of the menu am I allowed to order from? <laughs> from this side. I'll never yeah, forget that. You're not, Joe Coy. you're not asking, so they tell you who did better. Yeah, yeah. right, exactly. You, but that's the other thing. When you go to places where they know that, they know these things, and you, you know they're lying to you, they're like, it's going to be a great week. Great weekend, great night. This is going to be great. You're great, 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 great. And you know they're stroking, and they just know it makes you happy uh, as a performer. Yeah, yeah. And you accept it. It's like when yeah, you're thanks. Yeah, so yeah. when your spouse is like, "Yeah, you look good." And you're like, like, they don't even look up. <laughs> you're yeah, like, yeah. "All right, I'll just accept it. Take it makes it. me feel okay." Yeah, oh, it doesn't I'll take, take, take much. It doesn't take no. much. Just lie to me for a minute. Yeah. That's fine. Yeah, let's get through this together. Yeah, and, and stop <laughs> bringing up Joe Coy. <laughs> yeah, why Joe Coy with his street team? Yeah. <sighs> 15 nights in a row. Get out of here. Yeah. Are you tired, man? Go take a nap. Yeah, right. What are you doing? It's fucking yeah. crazy. I know. I was talking with uh, Gabriel. Gabriel came on my radio show. Yeah. Iglesias. And, uh, you know, he'd just done his special came out with him at Dodger Stadium. He, yeah. He did all of Dodger Stadium like two nights in a row. And stuff. Crazy. And we were going, to, just in the conversation, I realized uh, he works every Christmas. Oh. Every Right? That's what was my thing. I was like, oh, what, what, why? Yeah. And, uh, you know, he just, it was his thing and he'd bring some of his family and they'd go to Brea or Irvine and they would always do a show on Christmas. And I was like, that's not, no, Gabriel, <laughs> you, I want you to be home by the fire with yeah. your thing. But maybe he hates Christmas. Yeah. He's a real down to earth dude. He, yeah. He really, like, I remember he told me one time we were hanging out and he had bought a house up in LA in like a nice, I forget what neighborhood, you know, like yeah. Beverly Hill or something like that. And right away he was like, I yeah, don't, I don't fit in. I don't like it. Uh -huh. And so he moved back down to Long Beach and he's like, I like, I yeah. just feel more comfortable here. And yeah. I was like, oh, it's very down to earth of you. I don't know if you saw his special, but it was very cool at the end of it. He brought up like a couple of his people that work with him who've been with him the whole ride, like yeah. since they were kids starting out. And it was like, it was like one was East LA, he was Long Beach, someone else yeah. was from LA, and they're standing at Dodger Stadium having pulled this off as these kids that grew yeah. up there. It was really That's pretty cool. heartwarming. Yeah. And then you hear he's working on Christmas and you're like, you're doing it all wrong. Yeah, take Christmas off. <laughs> take Christmas off. Yeah. God. Yeah. Yeah, I always feel I always felt bad for the I, the guys who had no choice were the pro athletes who have Christmas Day games oh, or I Thanksgiving know. Day games. Yeah. yeah. Terrible. I always felt that way about Letterman doing on Thanksgiving night. Oh, he would always really? do Thanksgiving. And I was like, oh, what's wrong, Dave? Yeah. Take <laughs> yeah. it off. You can't yeah, negotiate Dave. this. <laughs> right, yeah. exactly. But some people are built that way where they're yeah. they're actually happier doing that. Yeah. You know? I'm not. No. I'm like, let's take the whole month of December off. Yeah. When am I, why? Someone just offered me a thing in New York to do press for this special in uh, on the 28th and i have in my head the 20th and my i've been running all year and then you know the shows are stopped and now i'm promoting and i'm just like skidding to the finish line and it's like do i have to go back on the 28th no mm -mm. no but that knee-jerk reaction in you is like yeah i can make it I can, there's probably a flight and i can go and like come back and then and, and no. no i just want to sit with some scotch uh, in a smoking jacket yeah by the fire yeah and just not move 
Well, because why are you working so hard if not to enjoy? Yeah. What's the point? Well, yeah. December also, December becomes more sacred to me. I like December off. Yeah. yeah. The whole yeah. thing. I mean, as much as I can, yeah. you know, like as soon as you're in a position where you can, I'm like, oh, that's a good one to take off. A big thing is that you have a family. Yeah. You have yeah. kids. Like if you don't and you're, you know, or you're split and your kids are with the mom or, you know, it's like, I could see you wanting to work. Yeah. But I just want to sit there and stare at my train village. And yeah. <laughs> it's so funny. My kids are now 17 and 20 Aww. and I'm still setting up the train village oh. alone. <laughs> like, and then like sending texts of me by the train to my daughter at college. Like, yeah. hey, it's still going. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, cool, dad. Yeah. She's like, is she supportive? She's like, I'm very proud of you that you kept this going, dad. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's so great. That's I can't so great. wait to see it. <laughs> I feel like little boys are slightly indifferent. Like the first day oh, yeah. I set up our village, it was full excitement. And now they're just like, meh, whatever. Like, <laughs> oh, really? The village. Yeah, they're also animals. Is though. there a train? Yes, there's moving components. There's like right. stuff that goes in circles and I movement. I get those things from um, the Hobby Lobby. You know, there's like that brand <laughs> yeah. of stuff that you buy, the Santa's Village that moves and stuff. Right, right. Yeah, that's big, good. Big time. But they don't care. Even Elf on you the know, Shelf, they're over it already. I don't they? even look for him today. Here's... Ellis said again, he goes, Julian's like, let's hurt dad. And I was like, hey, what? And, <laughs> and then Ellis goes, you want me to sit on his balls? And, <laughs> I go sit on him, and he goes. I can sit on him twice. Like there's two of them. I can sit like, on him twice. I go. Hey, hey. I start laughing. I go. Hey, we're not doing this. Where's he getting? I don't this? know. He's getting this. I'll sit on his balls. Yeah, I like that. It, the little kids were like in his head. He's like, they're so big. He'll he'll take them each separate. He'll, yeah, yeah. Get one and then get go the back to the other yeah. one. Yeah, they they fucking trash you though. Like yeah. they they'll run and just. Jump on his stomach, like jump knees, on his like back. Knees down, uh, like, oh, how old are they now? You see, four and seven. 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 Four yeah. and seven. Man. Seven today. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's Amazing. exciting. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. great. It does not go by fast, by the way. Like, not for me. Everybody's like, it just goes fast so fast. I'm like, not really. Not if you're there every day. Not if you're doing stuff all the time. Like I am. All, every moment, every minute is mom. Yo, mom oh, my God. Yeah. Mom. Mom. Yeah. Mom. mom. It's, it's mom. gone by the right clip. They say, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to say. The thing is, <laughs> nice and slow. Nice and slow. I say take a lot of pictures because if it yes. wasn't for pictures, I would have no memory of what happened. Yeah. In those early years when it's just like a fire Blur. hose just coming out God. of experience. Yeah, that's why these iPhones are remarkable because, yeah. like, they, they go, Every like, day. remember this? And you're like, Jesus, actually, I don't. <laughs> I but, know. Like, I was there. Yeah. 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 It's, uh, it's, it's so intense, but it is kind of weird. Like, they're like your whole life is them, right? They're yeah. all over you nonstop. I'm at the point where they're not going to be in the house in September. Oh, that just gave me the chills. I got scared. They're, they're not. Gonna what are you going to do? Well, I was really pretty psyched to go back to New York and maybe like rent an Airbnb for three months and just yeah. do stand up yeah, and that's a good idea. go back to the life we had when we were dating and uh, or just newly married. But. Uh, we have pets, and they're not going to die at the same time that we're going to be free. Mm -hmm. They're going to be around. Like, I totally messed it up. Like, I should have gotten them way earlier. I hope you take this to the stage. <laughs> <laughs> this is about wanting your pets to die so that you yeah. have the freedom to do what you want. <laughs> I'm looking at this black lab, yeah. and I'm like... She's not going anytime soon. Fuck. Fuck. What is she? Fourteen? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. She'll die soon, no? Get a, get a no, checkup. She's, and she's like five. Get, uh, oh fuck. You've got yeah. another kid. You've got a first grader, dude. Can I you know. take her to New York though? Yeah. Maybe. I mean, well it's then, a pain in then the I ass. think I thought about that. I'm like, maybe I bring him to New York and they'll be so depressed they'll probably die early. <laughs> <laughs> Like imagine going to like a one bedroom in the village. Big dog like so that. Like what? What is it? Why? What did I do? Why are you doing you this know, to me? It's funny you bring that up because when I was in Jude Dark Titties last time, I was marveling <laughs> at how how do people have dogs in New York City? Because there's no grass for them to actually. Poop on. Everything after you live somewhere else for like, and you grow up a little bit and you go to New York, everything seems inconvenient. Like as far as, you know yeah. what I mean? Like, it seems like to have impossible. A life. Yeah, you're like, how would you? Do, <laughs> yeah. like, how do you, do you, you make groceries? 40 million a year? How do yeah. you do this? I know. Yeah. I remember I was one time talking to Chris Rock and I was like, why do you live in New Jersey? And he's like, because I want to feel like I'm rich. 
you can't yeah you can't feel like you're rich so in true. manhattan in yeah and i was like all right if chris rock's saying that yeah i have to get out of here immediately yeah <laughs> like, yeah good point uh, someone told me uh just the other day that central park has a dog off leash policy every day up until up until like six or seven six or seven or maybe eight so you can go like take your dog probably eight you can bring your dog up there and take them off leash and let them run. In Aww. early morning, you mean? Early morning. Wow. And let them think that they're a dog. <laughs> <laughs> wow. That's neat. But think how shitty that is, too, like getting up at God. six to bring your dog yeah. to go and run. Can you bring your dog on a subway? Good question. Like, is that allowed? I think you can. I think you Wait, can. Wait, I've seen it. I've seen it on TikTok. It. Like little dogs sitting on laps of people yeah. licking right. their mouth. Remember the guy I showed you the dog was licking yeah, his mouth? Yeah, there you go. That was in, yeah. <laughs> That's the subway. That's yeah. true. <laughs> yeah, that was That's, on the subway. Of course it was yeah. on the subway. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, but I don't know. Uh, so they're not going to. So I don't know what my wife is really like. What does she want to so do? So you're going to be on the road somewhere. They're going to be at school. Yeah. And I'm going to be what? Just hanging out in <laughs> in Studio City? God. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. Yeah, I don't know. It's going to I I I'm expecting some wild card is go, she's going to so, she's going to snap. Yeah. And something's going to happen. I might come back and there will be no dogs. Yeah. And she'll yeah. be like, <laughs> like I killed the dogs. Yeah, yeah. right. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. There's just two mounds in the backyard. <laughs> oh gosh. Yeah, I don't know. But it is very strange. And How like, old are the kids now? They're seventeen and twenty. And twenty, okay. So yeah, that's done. That's done. It's crazy. I cried <sighs> when my daughter went to school for the first time and I realized I was like it just like rushed over me and it's because you can't like a lot of things happen and you can kind of rationalize it and get around it but that's like no like we're now those that couple where the kids are gone like I know. we are now part of that life like you can't lie to yourself you can lie about your age or like where you're at but when that happens and they split and you're just like oh we're in that state like it's there's no going back yeah there's no going back and uh, yeah, that was pretty heartbreaking. And you'll start That's getting the weird. calls of like, you're like, hi. And they're like, yeah, so I need some money. And you're like, oh, good. good. I, uh, I, I, wish, I wish it went that way. No? Well, now, and it's going to get worse when your boys are yeah. older, uh, you just notice something came out of your Venmo. Or oh, it's just like gone. You just get an alert on you, like someone used the Amex. Oh, like yeah. they just have all of my shit. Oh, right. <laughs> And use it, and you're like, fifty-five dollars on Amex, Dad. I needed a blah blah blah. Oh, right. oh okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah, they just steal from you. They don't yeah. ask anymore. All oh, right, that's cool. That's a new thing. That's yeah. right. I was thinking of my my time. Yeah, you yeah. had to ask. Yeah. Can I get some money? No. All right. <sighs> okay. <laughs> yeah. I just dread the time when they don't want to take your phone call because with me, remember when college, you're like, fuck, it's my mom. Yeah. Like, God damn it! Like you don't answer. What? What? She's like, the worst is when you <laughs> they, you see them text or you see them post, oh, no. and you call them and they don't and they don't oh. pick up. Like, you, they're looking at their phone. They're looking at you calling. And they're rolling and their going, eyes. Nope. nope. No. I don't want to do this right now. Uh, Fuck. Yeah. Brutal. <laughs> I know. I know. God damn it! Because they want to be with us now, and I always think of that. Yeah. Like they, they're not going to want to be with us for much longer, right? When does that end? They kind of. Well, the good thing is they're poor for a long time. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> you know, yeah. I mean, we have such power over poor. <laughs> yeah. Be like, we're going to Hawaii, and you guys. Are you into that? Oh yeah. yeah. And like, Fuck yeah. <laughs> yeah, we'll go. You're the best. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then you get them their own room. Yeah. You know, and you let them do their thing, but they you get to like see them. They become like cats. Oh. Like you know how a cat just kind of yeah. like goes by your leg and rubs against and that's all you're going to get? Yeah. That's what your that's what your 20-year-old son will do. Yeah. He'll just kind of come by. Hey dad. Yeah. I'm going to sit on your balls. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I found the uh, Gosh, little guy in the imagine. hall last night. Yeah? Yeah. I was I was about to go to bed, so the TV was still on, <laughs> and, I wa and I thought I heard something. I look in the hall, and he's sitting there holding his bear, and uh. he, goes, he goes, why are you still watching movies? 
<laughs> and I go, I'm about to go to bed. And he's like, you're still watching movies? And I was like, yeah, I'm about to go to bed. <laughs> and then he stuck his hand up and I walked him back to his room. Oh. And he got in bed and then I covered him up. And then I went back to our room. I turned everything off. And then, uh, <laughs> I don't know, 20 minutes later, doo -doo 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 -doo, he just <sighs> climbed back in the, he came back to our room and got in bed. Oh, it's the best. Yeah. Oh my God, it's I so know. the best. My daughter, when I would leave like the oh. at like the 5 a.m. out the door, you know, to yes. catch the flight, she would get up and she would come that same sleepy. They're so, oh, yeah. And God. she would wake up and I'd be like quietly sneaking out and she would just come and give me like this huge hug, have a good trip, and then go back into bed. Oh. And it was like, I, I wish you hadn't done that. Yeah. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. Like, if I could have just gone to the airport, I would think I'm a pretty good guy. Yeah. But now I feel like just a piece of garbage. You're like, now I'm doing coke. I'm doing coke. On <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm just a terrible person going to be abused by a club owner somewhere. I know. <laughs> Instead of being with you. I know. <laughs> Such a I know. Yeah. But it's great. So at that age, you're, you're in prime time. It's going to get so much better, too. I hope so. That's what people say. I mean, I like I like our seven year old a whole lot. He's rad. Like he's so chill to be with. Yeah. Like, come on, Ellis, let's go. And he's like, okay, cool. Like he just he goes along and a lot of independence. That's like, but they're still kind of innocent, sweet. So oh, it's yeah. a perfect. It's that perfect spot. You know, so great. The four year old's yeah. still so needy. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Know. He's really up my ass right now. Like he's really into mommy. He's going through some serious stuff, which is fine. I'm there. You know. Yeah. You're just like, all right, dude. We'll get through this phase. Like he's so up my asshole. It's yeah. not a phase. No, it's gonna stay that way. Some kids are just like that. They're just in your butt. More Whatever than they others. are, you know, like they haven't changed that much, right? No, from day one. you're right. Fuck, you're right. Yeah, no, and he's they're just gonna, gonna be like that. Yeah, yeah, they're gonna be that, and uh, they're gonna be that as. <laughs> 30 year olds. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, then I'll have one son because I think one of them. <laughs> yeah. Ellis is going to be the like, older one's going to be like, I'll talk to you next year. I mean, yeah. He's I'm so going independent. mountain climbing. Like, okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But Julian's more sweet. Mama's yeah. boy. He's mama's yeah. Boy. yeah. Okay. That's cool. Yeah. That's well, good. That's cool. Yeah. They, right. they don't, they do not change. Man. As I much threaten as... them so hard. I was thinking yeah. about that. When they, when they, really, I'm, I'm like, I will break you guys in half. You know, <laughs> Like, do you understand that? I'll bite your fucking fingers he off. Does. He does. And they and, get scared. And they're like, and then <laughs> Alice like, goes, you're joking, right? And I'm like, yeah. I'll take a beat before yeah, I tell him. Right. Yeah. But Julian doesn't know you're joking. Uh, yet. He's like, yeah. mommy, daddy's going to bite our fingers off. I'm like, he's not going to bite your fingers <laughs> no. off. They need it. They need someone to let them they know. They do. Yeah. yeah. That's what dads do. I feel like mom is the love. And yeah. then dad is the regulator. Like, Show them what the world is like, bro. Mm -hmm. And I provide love and cookies and stuff. That's good. And snuggles, yeah. That's good. Our dynamic's so different because it was girls. Yeah. So, oh, yeah. 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 So they loved you. Yeah. They, you're so important. You're the, you're the model. You're the for, mom. Like they're picking based on their experience with you. Yeah. You know? Yeah. It's, uh, it's a lot of pressure. Yeah. yeah. It's, uh, but it's amazing because like I couldn't yell. I couldn't. I I just raised just saying like stop that is my daughter would translate that into did you hear dad scream at us no, that's what our four year old does that's yeah you literally yeah, stop that yeah. did you hear what he said he was screaming one of them's more sensitive yeah, yeah. yeah. More he's exactly he's four oh, yeah. years old and if I'm like no he's like you're being so mean today. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm like, I'm not being mean. He's like, but, yes, you are. but Ellis, you can be like, I'm going to throw you in the river yeah. and put you in the bag. Yeah. And he'll laugh yeah. and he'll be like, shut up, mom. Yeah. Doesn't even phase him. Yeah. 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 It's crazy when you yeah. have two, right? Because Oof. like you, you, I remember when you have one, mm. you're like, this is what a baby's, this is what a kid's like. And yeah. then you have the second one, you're like, you're not like the other one though. This is so crazy. <laughs> right, oh, exactly. And you, I can't just repeat what we did with the other what? one. What? You're a different person? Yeah. I've got to try a whole different strategy whole different that I don't understand. Yeah. Yeah. No, yeah. it's totally weird. But uh but that's why uh I like them I like I can't couldn't work at Christmas time. Like no. I that's because of because they're so like in and out emotionally, everything, it's just like we could all just kind of have that tradition. It's like we're we're all just gonna do this. Yeah. Whatever phase we're in, 
you're into us, you're not into us, whatever. It's like, we're all going to sit here for a yes. week. Yeah. <laughs> will know? they be home for Christmas? Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. That's cool. Good. Yeah. No, that's good. How did you deal with boys and dating? That seems impossible. Yeah. Especially because you're a, not just a man, but you're a comedian. So yeah. You know every very sexy. Man. You're a sexy man. <laughs> yeah. But you know all the awful thoughts and you've said them and you've joked about them. And then you're like, oh, my, my daughter is becoming a human grown up now. Yeah. It didn't... Uh, it didn't really bother me that much. Like I wasn't going to get a gun interfere yeah. and like, it's just like, I just would keep talking about it. Like what's with that guy. Do yeah. we like that guy? Is he all right? Is he, you know, and you just kind of monitor, like, are they kind of cool that they weren't that dating all that much. My older one had a serious one for a bit. And, uh, you're definitely, you're definitely on high alert. Yeah. Um, my, like, I have no problem with whatever they're going to do together. You know what I mean? Like, all that stuff. Like, everything that we did. Yeah. Fine. I'm not... It doesn't really bother me. It's like, they're they're, they're women. You yeah. know, they're doing stuff. I, I can't think about it. But I also am not going to, like... I don't want to know. Yeah. Like, just fine. Uh, the hard part is, uh, is kind of analyzing uh, if they're a good guy. Uh, right, because because they put up their the best. The only thing you want is that don't be with an asshole. That's right. what I tell my boys. Yeah, and you know, the the, and you, the one you, guy was like he was he was a little like evasive. He wasn't uh, really like coming, talking too much, and it, it kind of like had me on high alert for a minute. Like he wasn't like shaking my hand and like really. Talking, hey, yeah, that's strange, right? It was a little strange. Yeah, but he was a good kid. Like he was okay. And but it took me a beat to kind of learn it. And I also thought about myself. I was like, when I was, you know, I would tell my wife, like, you know, when I was in high school and I had my girlfriend, I would go in and I would shake the hand and yeah, I would be always. like, Hey, how are you? Yes. But I was also sneaking in her window at night yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when everyone was asleep. And right. like so I was like a con man. Kind of a yeah. shithead. Yeah. I was kind of a shithead. I yeah. was like, Hey, how are you, Mr. Smith? And, yeah, yeah. And then like going crazy with his daughter. Dude. Yeah. So it was like yes. so <laughs> Gross. I don't like so I don't need that guy like coming to exactly. shake my hand. You know hey, I mean? Mr. Papa. Yeah, at least yeah. he's being honest. Like, True. hey, I'm not really into you. I'm into your daughter. Okay, yeah. that's cool. Yeah. I yeah. get it. Yeah. So it's hard to analyze, and all guys are assholes. So yeah, what kind of an asshole, right? So now, yeah. like, is he going to be? So I don't know. That's, that's a really that, good. That's point. the most complex part of it. Then when you have yeah. boys, you're like, please don't someone. That's all you think about. <laughs> um, that's no. the only. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I mean, that's, I, like how, I like how when you ask it, you have to say please. Yeah, <laughs> please stop. I've yes. been telling them every night before they go to bed. I'm no, like, you right. cannot force yourself on a woman, and they're like, what? Every night. <laughs> every night. Why are you still watching movies? Yeah. Why are you thinking about? <laughs> <laughs> Put your teddy bear down. I want to talk to you. <laughs> Um, I don't forget what I was gonna say. No, I always tell them like, don't, my fear is because our boys are sweet lambs. Yeah. It's like they're gonna oh, meet she that says girl. The she's, I can't believe she's what? trained. You've trained them. She goes, okay, boys. Like we're in the car, and she's like, what? <laughs> she's driving, and I hear her go, "What kind of girl are we going to marry?" And they're like, "A nice girl." <laughs> That's great. And they're like, "Who cooks?" <laughs> I'm like, what is happening here? And then I drill That's them. Good. I go, okay, uh, how do you call the police? 911. Oh, yeah, What's a... your address? Da, 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 da. What's my phone number? Da, nice. da, 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 da. Uh, who's allowed to touch your privates? Daddy, yeah. mommy, the doctor. Yes. Yeah, but, yeah. Like I drill wow, them on like, good. life yeah. stuff. Yeah. And what hap What? who crosses the street without looking? And, and then they go, a dumb dumb. <laughs> yeah. Who jogs in the street? Yeah. Dummies. Dumb dumbs. Yeah. yeah. I also tell them, yeah, use the sidewalk. Why do you see people in, walking in traffic? Yeah. Yeah. It's both good. ways. All that it's stuff. Good. But just marry a girl that treat. I say marry a girl that treats you the way mommy treats daddy. Like a nice yeah. girl. Don't just go for pretty, because right. that's the oh, problem right. with boys is they think with their schlong, right? And then they they just go for the mean bitch, and <laughs> yeah. then, like Megan and Megan and Harry, yeah. And then you wake and you up, fall into a pussy haze, and then yeah. you wake up and you're like, oh my god, is the monarchy gone? Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. I have a joke about that in my act where I say, uh, I say, uh, my friend is thinking about getting married, and he wants, and he's 
he's like, is she hot enough? I'm like, hot. You don't marry hot. You marry strong. I said, you don't want a supermodel. You want someone who could pick up the other end of the couch. Yeah. (laughs) Without without taking the cigarette out of her mouth. (laughs) That's what you marry. That's what you marry. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. You don't want, you know, it's a, it's, it's kind of like, it's kind of interesting watching old, like I always look at people that are ahead of me and it turns into the opposite problem where they bring home a girl and then you fall in love with her and she's uh, around the house for a year and then he breaks up with her no, and you're like, oh yeah. Well, wait, <laughs> I liked her. Yeah. 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 We had that for one, one of them. And it was like, wait, she's just like, they're, they're kind of stone cold killers. Like the girls. Yeah. They're just like, you think everything's cool. And they're just like, I just broke up with them. I'm like, what? <laughs> they just texted in the morning. I just broke Psych- up with him. Wait, what? Is he okay? No, he's crying. <laughs> uh, what? Wait, what, are you, what are you doing? And my wife was like, oh, but I liked him. And they, Over him. It, it went on for a while. Yeah. And my wife just kept going, but he was so nice. I'm like, mom, you weren't going out with him. Yeah. I was going out with him. So you have, you you know. Chicks are tough. Man. That's true. Girls are stone cold. Yeah. Way colder. Didn't even see it coming. No. I mean, yeah. When I was younger, you had to just, well, here's the thing. I believe it's more, what's the word I'm looking for? Kinder, uh-huh. sweeter. To just drop the axe quickly. Yeah. Sorry. Bye. Next. Versus like drawing it out. I still like you. I still like. Let's give it a shot, and then and then you console them. Yeah. That's that's right. cruel. When right. you break up with a guy, and then you you become his consoler. Yeah. That is fucking evil. Like I once had a friend of mine, a guy friend, tell me he's like, Christina, the kindest thing you can do when you dump a guy is just do it and then be done and right. let him. You're not you're not there to console him, right? Yeah, uh, he's got to get that from someone else. Yeah. yeah, it can't be you. That's so you're leading him on, and, and then you're a nice you're, person, so you feel like I should be. All right, I should try yeah. to I'll be friends. I'll blow you one more time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and that's what you do, and then you end up leading that guy on and yeah. on and yeah, on. And, it's yeah, it's cruel. Yeah. But girls too, we switch on you on a dime. Yeah. I when I was yeah. younger. When I was done, I was done. Really? You repulsed me. It would go wow. from like, yeah, I like, he's great. He's the number. And, and then just one day you're like, oh God, I saw the way he, <laughs> you know, <laughs> ate a chili dog or whatever. Yeah. And you're just like repulsed. <laughs> or your girlfriend says something about him yeah. that you also uncon- like deep down felt and she verifies it for uh-huh. you. Like, God, isn't his breath kind of bad? And you're like, your wife's <laughs> breath. The breath, the hair. That's the thing is when the broads team up, when they're like, oh, isn't he? Yeah. That's done. when you're done. Yeah, then you're really yeah. toast. <laughs> yeah. It's the girlfriends that'll put the nail in your coffin. Yeah, the girlfriends. Ouch. It's true. Not the and mom. The mom hates no, him. You're going to love him even more. But the girl you're dating mm. always has one cunt girlfriend. Yep. <laughs> you know? It's truth. Who's got her ear and you're like, you listen to this stupid bitch? Like, that's what you want to tell her. you got to be so like, that's good my to best override friend. her. Yeah. And she's usually unattractive. She's yes. uglier than the girl yes. you're with. She's jealous of the girl oh, she's definitely yeah. alone yeah, yeah. right yeah. and she's she's calling the shots behind the scenes yeah big time <laughs> well you're too young to know you're in your 20s you don't know you right. don't know shit and then you think the guys that you're friends with are just your friends but they're jackals just waiting to get in there right. so they'll give you advice too like yeah he kind of sucks and then that guy will swoop in on you uh, you've got like friends <laughs> male friends in the wings there's so much competition yeah. at that age yeah you know there's that thing because everything you're describing is so complex and it's just like the beginnings of it. That's yeah. like, as a parent, you're like, better off, I don't know. Like, <laughs> I, right? Like, I, yeah, I would horrible. see, I remember as a kid watching like uh, dads and cartoons, like with the newspaper and just mm-hmm. ignoring the whole family and yeah. be like, what an asshole. Look at that right, guy. Right. And now I get it. I'm yeah. like, no, I you can't it. involve yourself in all of this soap opera that's going on. That's what my dad was the best at. <laughs> not being involved in anything. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Doing it all out. Yeah. He was so checked out. <laughs> yeah. And, you, and I remember I'd be like, what the fuck, man? How about this? And he'd be like, what's that? Like, you, know, you didn't hear this fucking World War Three going on in here? <laughs> yeah. The ability to like, you know, just not be involved. And he's like, I, I you know, yeah. you and your sister. I, 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 and, <laughs> I don't get you guys. Yeah. My, I cultivate, uh, I cultivate it. Now I like even exaggerating when I know I'll say I don't. Although they'll, they'll have some drama and they'll be like, I can't believe what happened with Kelly. And my reaction is always, who's Kelly again? <laughs> Dad, we took her on vacation. She was a part of our family. I, I forget. I forget. Anyone they bring up. Who's that? Who's, who's Kevin? 
Who's that? Dad. <laughs> Three years I've been dating him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But I, I don't want them to think I'm, I know. Yeah. <laughs> mm, probably better that way. Girl drama yeah. is. It's exhausting. So high. I feel like I was so, so horrible. tied into it having two sisters that yeah. you were like, that's like the moment you get home from school, it'd be like one of them would start with like all the girl drama from her end and then oh the other one would come God. home. And yeah. Yeah, by the end of the afternoon, you were like, oh my God. Yeah. Because that's what I live in. I have two, yeah. right, right? And the chances of everyone being in a good mood on the same day oh. is no. virtually, it's happened like Plus twice. Hormonal <laughs> right. too. You're going to catch a stray every day. <laughs> yeah. 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 Well, also what I noticed hanging out with little girls, yeah. like your or my nieces and stuff. Yeah. Uh, uh, it's like little boys will exhaust you physically. Yeah. And just like, stop fucking hitting him. Put, yeah. Don't put your finger in your ass and then in your eye. Stop doing that. <laughs> yeah. That's the exhaustion with boys. Yeah. With girls, it's like they want to be fucking inside of you. <laughs> like they want to be in your brain. Like, what are you doing? What are we doing later? I love you. Let's talk about this. Let's talk about this. Yeah. And you're like, oh yeah. my God, dude. Like it's overwhelming in a different way. Yeah. And, and they know you, your emotions. They know yeah. how to get you. They know, how, like, oh, I watch my daughter with my wife, and it's like, boom, in a second, in a flinch, they just read each other, and they're like, it's, it's, it's deeper. Yeah, it's, much deeper. It's more of a mind fuck. Much deeper. You're like, oh my they're God. They're meaner. My sisters are so much meaner, yeah. actually. Like, people would be like, yeah. oh, Tom's the mean one. Like, no. what, a comedian yeah. says, I'm like, not like they are. <laughs> right. They're way meaner. Yeah, I'm surface. Yeah. They're good at it, too. <laughs> yeah. Like, your sisters can go right to the heart of it, and yeah. I'll be like, damn. Like the last time we were hanging out, I was like, that was fucking brutal, y'all. Like yeah. Jane said something and I was like, fuck. Like, they do it to each cold. other. They almost leave you out of it usually. They just do it to each other. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, Jackals. Mm -hmm. Yeah. How are you going to handle Christmas presents for each other? For Tom and me? Yeah. Do you we don't do that shit. You don't? Well, I mean, I got yes, you like do. some stuff. Here's the here's the what I've figured out over the years. It's right. like, hey, let's not do gifts on yeah. this and that. And then you're like, that means you probably won't get me something. <laughs> I'll, I'm still obligated to get you something. Right. So that you don't feel like, God, you didn't get me anything? I, I mean, I know we said we weren't going to, but I didn't can think I you were going to. That's why I'm asking, because we're in yeah. that position. Yeah. She literally said that. Yeah. But can I tell you why? At anything I buy my husband, he'll be like, oh, thanks. <laughs> What? It's gone. Why? Yeah, but here's is the thing. Because you're a bad gift giver? Yes. Or okay. He's... Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Yes. Thanks for saying I'm it. Garbage. Let's but be what clear. am I supposed to get him a Rolex every time? I don't know. <laughs> what do you want? You have well, everything. I'll, I'll say this. That's the problem. You don't really need anything. No, you, don't, don't. you don't need anything. Right. Also, some people are just more skilled in this. I am a really good gift he giver. Really I is. really am. I he am. Is. And I've always been a good gift yeah. giver. And I enjoy it. I uh -huh. enjoy the whole process. I hate it. And I remember, <laughs> like, it was a few years into dating her. I was like, hey, do you think on the, I finally was like, do you think on this upcoming Christmas you could not give me some bullshit? And she was like, <laughs> what do you want? And I was like, I don't know, like a fucking iPad or something cool? <laughs> yeah. And and then I think I went out and got it. I was like, give me this. <laughs> you had to buy it yourself? Yeah. 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 <laughs> why do you have such a hard time with it? It's just not at your you know wheelhouse. Why? It's not, okay. I think it goes because my parents were like such communists, like they literally escaped communism. So my upbringing was stuff is not as important. Stuff uh, right. is like. She gave me ground beef when I was like, the fuck is <laughs> I not give you ground beef. She's like, it's good meat. It's good meat. <laughs> uh, but like, I'm not, I just, I see stuff as it's great. It's behavior you modeled. And it's the fun. Truth. Yeah. But stuff to me doesn't equate love because right. I was always taught that growing up, like, this is just stuff. You die, stuff goes. And to me, like, I will give you my fucking heart, my life, my love, and my time. Like, I gave you two right. sons, motherfucker. Like, Done. that's what I see is, like, I, I bore you two kings. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, and I, think I give I modeled, you my life, bro. I modeled the behavior after my dad, mm -hmm. who was very much into, like, expressing love with gifts. Right. You know, he just, he would, yeah. It's your, it's your birthday, it's Christmas. Yeah. Like a, so I think I saw that, and it just was in me very young. Right. You're just, you're just copying the behavior you, you saw. Yeah, that's true. You know? Yeah, my parents are that way. And I have great taste. And... <laughs> I do. do. You do. Hold on. I are do. you happy when you open <laughs> when you open this gift? Are you serious right now? <laughs> I just had to give you. A, no, you do have great taste. I, I am. Uh, I say am. Clearly. No. I, and here's the thing too. Wait, wait, is wait. That, what? Who has great taste? You have what much better taste than me. Uh, there's no question. Please. I am fucking straight up. 
Euro trash <laughs> garbage. I know this about myself and it's totally fine. Really? I'm Euro trash, baby. I love it. Really? You get me an Adidas track suit, I'm happy. You shit. always look classy. Oh no, this, well, this is over I the bought. years. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who here's, dressed you for your special? I have a stylist now. Yeah. I hire a stylist. But here's what I've learned because of Tom, because he's forced me to like nice things. Uh-huh. Like over the years, he's been like, hey, here's a nice handbag. Don't you enjoy that? And I'll be like, actually, yes. Right. So now I do enjoy nicely made stuff, uh-huh. nice things. But yeah, yeah, I enjoy it. But it's not but an it's instinct. Not, it's not yeah. like. I could go tomorrow, and if all my I shit burned down, I would be like, "Oh, there goes my stuff." Like I wouldn't be like, "Right, it's good." It's, it's, it's actually it is a good, good. Place, yeah, hundred percent. Well, what are you then? What's your jam? Um, I like nice things, but it's I kind of learn. You know, I grew up in New Jersey, and I was kind of Jersey trash. And then, but I, <laughs> but as an adult, I I learned to like things, and I learned to like, yeah, you know, I, and my wife is like, we're. We have everything. Like, what do we need? We yeah. don't really like. You buy stuff through the year that you really need. Yeah. Uh, maybe we should just get a mattress this year. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, yeah, okay, that makes sense. And as we're getting closer, I'm like, that's bullshit. I, I'd like to open something. You have to open yeah. stuff. Yeah. I also, but Opening I also realized this good. over the years is that the thrill really be, is for me. In other words, I do right. really enjoy the moments of of the person opening the gifts. Right. You know what I mean? That's, that's the, you actually are, the, the gift is from the, it's for the giver. It's like giving money to the homeless. It, it really is. You just right. go like, oh, and, and then you see them be like, holy shit, like that feels right. good. Yeah, that's nice. Right. That feels good. Yeah. But you don't get that reaction because he never reacts of, oh my God, thank you. Never. Oh yeah, cool. <laughs> a, a wooden puzzle. This is a, <laughs> something I've dreamt of. <laughs> Wait, but, but what? What, I, what am I gonna buy? Like, look what Bert buys you. Do I need to buy you a race car? You don't need to give me anything. <laughs> like a jet ski? What elicits react? Like, Listen. there's nothing I can yeah, get like you. How big are we supposed to? Hitler's teacup? <laughs> there's nothing I can get you. Anymore. That would be pretty good. Well, that's uh, what he got, Bert. Yeah, that, <laughs> you did. Yeah, for but real? that took a lot of fucking work. I had to meet white supremacists. <laughs> I had to like. <laughs> But again, it was for you. Yeah, it was for me to see, to know that my friend was holding Nazi memorabilia uh, and drinking his morning coffee. But that's what I mean. Like, I don't know what to, at this point. But well, I'm being very honest. Yeah. I'm being, this, at this point, honestly. Just a blowjob. <laughs> that's very cool. Okay, what? Just tell me. No, no, that's a very cool idea. Um, when you, I, you really don't need to buy me anything. I'm serious. I'm very serious. I'm but serious. But you need to open something. I think I already bought it. <laughs> Seriously. When I, uh, I would, I would always get depressed when I would hear married couples be like, they would say that uh, he gets a blowjob on his birthday. Yeah, yeah I hate just that. once a year. And it's just that. like, oh, that's, such that's a so lame. Yeah. But you know what's even more lame? What? When you don't get one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when, when your birthday comes and goes and you're like, oh, yeah, that's even worse. Yeah. So, sad. Not, yeah. That is sad. Planned intimacy is so It really lame. I don't like that at all. It's so it's lame. It's so lame. Yeah. Ugh. So gross. This well, is... it's his birthday. You know no, what that means. That's <laughs> so <laughs> gross. That's the worst. <laughs> the worst. It's that one time a year. Yeah. I'll pretend to find you attractive. <laughs> oh, God, God. It's so bad. It's is terrible. that real? Do it's, people really? Yeah. Yes. That's real. It's very real. It's as real as a happy wife, happy life t-shirt. Yeah. <laughs> Live, laugh, love. Live, laugh, love. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm just squeezing you. I like you. I'm warming my hands. My fingers are cold. <laughs> Very handsome. Is this how you react when your wife gives you affection? What are you doing? Well, I mean, I don't like what, what you're are you doing. doing. No, I'm usually into after the initial flinch. <laughs> <laughs> can I tell you? Can I tell you also my relation to stuff, which is this is totally morbid. And depressing yeah. just preface when i cleaned out my mom when my mom died and i cleaned out all her stuff my mother had a wonderful jewel jewelry 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 is that right collection uh-huh and when i so was going through her apartment and i was like where's my mom's jewelry i know this bitch had it because she would never let me touch it as a teenager and i wanted it you know so my dad and i were like looking for days dude like Whoa. days were going by where's this bitch's jewelry at and my dad was like i know she has it she's hiding it somewhere there's no way this woman doesn't have it we finally find it it's hidden in the back of her closet 
inside of a suitcase, inside of a suit bag, an mm. old suit bag. My mother had just thrown in there like diamond rings, pearl necklaces, all these beautiful Whoa. things. And I remember going to myself like, what a waste, what a shame. Like you have all these beautiful things mm -hmm. and yet you have to conceal, you have to hide them to save them. Yeah. Like if you're going to have the nice thing, then enjoy the nice thing. Yeah. Take the risk of it's it like being the, stolen. Or yeah, falling out of your ear. The guy yeah. that doesn't drive his cars. I hate that. Right. I got this cool car and it just sits here. And I, I'm like, you ever drive it? No, you don't want to drive this. Well, thing. that was like, the cool thing about Leno. Like, yeah. That he would drive everything. Everything. He's all of it's a museum. Yeah. But he's like, treats it like it's just his cars to drive around. Yeah. Which yeah. is cool. It's very you, cool. Yeah. It's really that. You shouldn't be so sacred with stuff. Yeah. No. Yeah. That's why they made it. And I, I've, I've found that, like, I know that, um, like, the two companies where, you know, people are always like, oh, I got Porsche and Ferrari. They're always like, we want our buyers to drive these. That's why we made them. Right. It's not for, it's not a yeah. museum piece. Right. You know, like. But would you be angry if you, if you, <laughs> if you gave, a, like, a diamond necklace or a, something, like, very expensive Mm -hmm. And then it was lost. Oh. Yeah. I mean, I think I would be bummed out about that, that that's, that's lost. Yeah. Sure. Um, that would suck. Yeah. Yeah. The, like then do you feel pressure when you have something like that? I used to. And then I cleaned out my dead mom's stuff. And then, and then all the handbags that are like, where are they now? Uh huh. All the jewelry, it's like, you're going to die. You I, know do you're think, gonna die. I do think right. if, if something, it. it's a right. different Take price a point yeah. for everybody. But it's like, if you go, this is too, like, I don't feel comfortable with this, then yeah. that's not then for you. don't do it. Right, you know what right, I mean? yes, like, 100%. don't get the thing that makes you go like, yeah. oh my God, I can't. Yeah, my wife does have that reaction sometimes. Like, yeah. uh, shit. <laughs> you you know? don't. Yeah. But then also, I, I almost saved this sweater for another thing. Where you're like, oh, yeah. don't wear this today. You should save it for that special occasion. And you're like, <laughs> right. wait, why would I save it? Like, yeah. Everything that that I do for years. It takes yeah. a while to get your brain to do it. I also thought like that for jokes. Sometimes you go, I'll like I'll save this joke for this uh -huh. script, or this, and I'm like, you know, just, just use all the jokes you got. Yeah, whatever's right. here. Yeah, yeah. don't and trust that save. something else is going to come. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, you can't. And the clothes thing, I think, is like, I mean, I've gone through closets and been like, oh yeah, that's that'll be for the day that requires that shirt yeah. to be worn. Yeah. Yeah. What the fuck am I doing? I have this denim shirt that I keep in my closet. Yeah. And in my head, every time I see it, I think, in case I'm ever at a bonfire at the beach. Yeah. <laughs> when am I going to a bonfire? I saw it in a commercial, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> I'm never going to go to a bonfire. I don't have friends there. that go to bonfires. Yeah. Special I don't, occasion. I'm not, at night, I'm going to be at that. No. <laughs> but I won't throw it away because it may happen. Yeah. I would love to throw all my clothes out. <laughs> you can. Uh, yeah, you can. I just donated so much. You did? So much. That's great. Like almost 200 pieces of clothing. Wow. You lost a bunch of weight. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, because of the weight? Well, yeah. But two things. I mean, some of it, I'm like, as soon as it's too big, I'm like, I don't want it in my closet. Right. Like if it's a size too big, I don't want don't it. What about even. size too small? Uh, I'll keep it. Right. If For I, motivation. Yeah. Because you wore it one time. Yeah. I'll yeah. keep that. Um, and then the other thing is I'm like, so I did that. Like I got rid of things that were too big. Uh -huh. And then on that kind of pass, you go through it again and you're like, I'm not wearing this thing at all. Like I see the thing that's been hanging. I'm like, I've never touched this. I should right. just get it out of here. Yeah. Try to make room. Mm -hmm. And here's the thing. I did that. Got rid of, I mean, literally hundreds of pieces of clothing. Yeah. And you walk in my closet, completely full. Like there's not right. a gap anywhere. <laughs> and you're like, yeah. what is, is the, is the, Closet growing clothes, uh, yeah. Like, and then I when know. I go on the road, like I never want to like. You pack the same shit, right? I pack the same shit, and I'll wear it. I think this is the third day I've worn this shirt. Mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> you know what I mean. Like, yeah. I don't need that much stuff. You don't. No, in fact, I have like a road traveling outfit uh -huh. that it's just like the <laughs> perfect outfit. It's a it's these pants I wear the Burberry trousers with because they've got pockets i could put right. my phone in that pocket and then i'll wear a black top and then this certain jacket because yeah. it's just the right amount of pockets it's just the right amount of warmth or cool Done. no matter what perfect Done. Done. and then ugly hokas and then i'm jamming <laughs> yeah yeah why would you need anything more in your life <laughs> you kind of i kind of you end up buying the same stuff over and over anyway like, i know once you define your style 
then you're like, this is this is what I can wear. Yeah. I, I think I'm. I wish I were the girl that can wear boho, whatever. I ain't. My body's not gonna look good in that. Well, yeah. Well, and you see some people that are like, that fashion is a thing. Like they really, like I, I think every time I see Ali, Ali Wong, she's oh, wearing something her. different. She yeah. looks amazing in everything. Yeah. But it's like non, like she's always got something cool, on. creative and cool on. Yeah, yeah, and then you find out she's like, oh yeah, like Gucci sent me this. I'm like, wait, yeah. they do that? And yeah. they're like, yeah, for me, for right. me. I'm like, yeah. they sent that to you? Yeah. She's like, mm-hmm. oh really? They yeah. do. They totally do. Like the designers are like, here you go. Yeah, just yeah. keep wearing this. Yeah, yeah. She's like, oh this, this is Kenzo. They yeah. send this to me. I'm like, yeah. she, she, looks yeah, she came over in like a romper once yeah. when we lived in the valley, and she's like, this one's like Kenzo. Yeah, and she also eats like a horse. Yeah, and yeah. She's, she's like, I can't gain weight. I'm like, yeah, me too. Same. I know. And she's all muscular and shit. I'm like, do you yeah. work out? She's like, not really. I mean, like, I dance around the house. I'm like, <laughs> and then she'll try to make you feel good. She's like, but I'm not that tall. And you're like, okay, whatever. Yeah, oh, I like her. Yeah, I can't be. I can't be that styly. I don't mm. have that. I don't have that kind of. I like sense. it. I like nice clothes. I do too. But like. But you're not. You're, but you're just. You're a guy. Yeah, that's like. No, you can't go that crazy. With yeah, it, you know. No, there's not a lot of. Unless you rap, for guys. if you rap, if you, you rap, really, you could do it. Yeah, really that's true. Danny Brown's got good stuff. He yeah. wears wild shit. Right. <laughs> He's like, this looks like a skirt, but it's really short. Like, okay. <laughs> so <Okay. cool. laughs> This looks like a brace, but it's a shoe, and you're like, it's very. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. yeah. No, I don't have it. No, that that's another level. Yeah. Want to give it to him? I'm dying. Tell him what you did here. All right. These are TikToks that I've curated. These are the outliers, the people that are nor- not normally featured in traditional <laughs> patriarchal post-colonial media. <laughs> <laughs> Christina curates these on her own. I haven't seen them, and they'll make you feel a bunch of different ways. <laughs> Holy shit. This is a new one for me. We got it. Carpeted motherfucking walls in the bathroom. <laughs> oh my god. He's so happy. <laughs> I mean, have you ever seen that before? Even That's, in the 70s, kind of. That feels like the grossest place you can do that, though, right? Oh, yeah. Any right. splatter I mean, is going to be on that forever. I'm seeing different color. I don't know that that's... <laughs> yeah. yeah. I just love how impressed he is. Holy fucking shit. It's like the guy who saw like a phone in the in the bathroom for the first time. Yeah. <laughs> in a hotel. You remember seeing that? Oh, yeah. Whoa. <laughs> or like first time I got, I was in a limo when I was a kid. I was oh like, get And they're like, there's a phone in this thing? <laughs> yeah. It's crazy. Wow. Real shit. Whoa. Unimpressed. Yeah, everyone's like, I can do that. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. Do you know how many times she's broken her nose getting good at this? <laughs> <laughs> like I feel like it should she should just have bandages all over here. Uh, that's yeah. the first thing I thought that's gonna break her fucking face open. That's Look what I was waiting things. for. They're yeah. also like whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Chinese excellence. We get it. That reminds yeah. me, I just saw a a clip of Led Zeppelins, like when they were starting. Yeah. And they were playing in front of a crowd like that of like English middle aged people just with their arms crossed, not moving, yeah. just in their chairs. And they're like shredding Led Zeppelin. Yeah. They're hungry and rah, And he's just going balls out. And then they go to the audience and it's that, just like, <laughs> whatever. <laughs> Been there, yeah. done that. Unreal. Bless God. you. Yeah. Salud. Gracias. Seen it. <laughs> <laughs> that's not how to fix that <laughs> by the I, way can i see that again yeah um, i guarantee a doctor would be like don't do this <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> his whole brain stem shifted God. Yeah, he's never gonna be the same no, again he didn't he didn't grab his neck he's like oh my fucking brain moved oh that's true yeah, yeah he's holding yeah. his head how to oh. fix a neck hump in oh. ohio a neck hump was that was that in ohio yeah it says but hold on oh, oh, oh yeah, my God. That, that didn't feel that's right. not that's ohio. like when you're when you're a teenager okay. trying to fix your cars that's like a by f- just <laughs> banging yeah, it banging out, the out. Other side. that's like a chechnyan guy i don't think that's in ohio no no maybe there's an ohio chechnyan 
Oh, jeez. Oh, boy. Oh, no. Oh, no. I thought he was... He's got to strangle it first. <laughs> oh. I mean, I just thought that was kind of cool. When have you ever seen a snake eat a baby chicken like that? I mean, that's a weird <sighs> one to put in. You're very, very disturbed. <laughs> I can't believe you're not that sensitive about gift giving. <laughs> As a, you know... I just thought nature, you know, it's pretty savage, bro. <laughs> it, it's, it's so disturbing because you're the first thing you really, you don't even see the snake at first. You just see, oh, look at all these little <laughs> chicks. That's so, yeah. oh my God. Yeah. What's, oh, why is his mouth open? And then you go, I hope this doesn't happen on this video. <laughs> There's no way that she's showing us this, is, is there? I just hope people are flagging savage. Christina's psychopathy as much as they are <laughs> pointing out mine. Guys, follow my curations at the Christina P on Instagram. I am put them in my stories. Do you have a lot of problems with it? The rejection rate is so high. No, I do not have any problems with it. I've had it for eight years. And the thing about it is the only reason why you have rejections is they're so scared to go deep enough. A lot of my piercings I cannot put on here because they bleed and they call graphic. Okay, but I have to, you have to go deep enough in me for them to, to um, not reject. So if you're too scared to do, like my surface piercing, it rejected. It wasn't deep enough, so the skin wore thin. This one, hey, I don't have no problems at the chin. It went, it was thin, uh, I mean, it went deep chin. enough in there and it bled. My forehead didn't bleed, it wasn't nothing, because it was just like the surface over this, underneath the skin. Uh, so, no. I, mine didn't reject. I have no problems with it. I love it. That's <gasps> ouchie. Mom, I'm bringing my girlfriend home for Thanksgiving. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh my god! I do find her sexy, though. I gotta say. I bet. What? I do. For I like real? Her. I like her. Yeah. Why? Because she's not gonna say no. <laughs> it's anything. Anything. <laughs> well, she's really gonna appreciate uh, my uh, gifts, you know. <laughs> Oh, you could always give her something. Oh, yeah. Anything. Gosh. Yeah, put this in your cheek. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Dude, the fucking baby chicken. You really wanted to fucking show that? Oh, well, I you know it was what? very interesting. I've never seen a snake do that before. I want to actually, after watching her, want go back to the baby chicken. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is so much it's more nature. disturbing to me. I think me. nature's fascinating. Look at that. Just enjoying my slow. beginning of my life. Bye bye. <laughs> oh, I mean, Jesus. but also like you, you have this crazy snake as a pet or whatever. How do you feel it all the time? Don't you feel bad? My my friend gave me out of college gave me a, a boa constrictor, a baby boa constrictor. Gave it to you? Yeah, as a gift. Ew. And it was like it was you know it was only like a foot long in his little head. It was like pretty cool in the beginning. Yeah. And then it just grew in this fish tank, and you had to feed it. You start out with like these little mice and then rats eventually. You're dropping a rat in there. And when it's not feeding, it's just striking at the glass every time you <laughs> every time you walk by. I was like, this thing's gotta go. I can't. <laughs> Why am I living with this? What a nightmare. A yeah. Nightmare. It wants to kill you. I saw yeah. this uh this account that this guy has like massive like snakes. <laughs> you know, at a it's like at a facility. It's yeah. not at his house. <laughs> yeah. And he's like, Oh boy. And then, you know, he brought in rabbits. <laughs> Big oh, ass, yeah. threw them in, and oh my he's God. like, oh, this one's not, she's not hungry, and he's like poking it, and then it's like, ah. and, <laughs> and then the, they just kind of chill and look at the rabbit, and they're just like, wow, oh. just and you hear the rabbit, <laughs> oh, yeah. Christina's getting off in the background. No. Like, <laughs> I mean, weren't you ever afraid that the snake would get out of its cage and kill you in the night, especially if yeah. it's striking? Yeah. Yeah. How'd you, how did you, how'd you get rid of it? Or I, I made him take it, it back. You did? Yeah, because he loved snakes. He had snakes. Oh, okay, okay. And uh, and they would get loose in his place. And like you wouldn't find it for a couple days. Yeah. No. Yeah. Wow. You're just sleeping in there. He did a one cool thing. He, he built like he built like a snake habit trail through his apartment. So it was like these tubes like all throughout the apartment. So the Ugh. thing could just like go. I just got the chills. Yeah. That's terrifying. And you can That's just terrifying. see them like slithering over you. And now like one of your activities every week is stopping at the pet store to buy live animals. Right. That you're going to feed this monster you <laughs> <Right>. live with. <laughs> it's psychotic. 
<laughs> it is. It's a monster. It's a monster. Yeah. What do you have? I got a monster. <laughs> I live with a monster. You know, it kills other pets. You have a pet? It would kill your pet. Yeah. Yeah, yeah what do you have? Because yeah. my snake could eat oh, it. Oh, my snake would eat your dog. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was so insane. It is. Oh, no. No, 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 oh. silly. Oh. Tattooed eyeballs, guys. It's a thing now. What would have to happen for one of your boys to bring her home? Oh, neglect. I think I would have to, right? Like, just not parent. I got to say, the the person in the in the car saying, what's your address? We'll do, who's allowed to touch your privates? Is never bringing that home. <laughs> okay, thank God. Right? The, the kid that's listening to a mom say all I that stuff. I hope so. Is you're doing such the right thing. <laughs> like, there's no... Like, what would have to... You know what's crazy? That butterfly is upside down. Like, even that is psychotic as shit. Like, tonight, not yeah. get the butterfly right side up. Like, an upside down <laughs> butterfly, bro? Well, that... it frames the face better this way. You know? <laughs> <laughs> it's more in sync with her eyebrows. Yeah. God damn. Man, dude. she's wild. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. What do you think about her? Do you think she does stuff? She'll let yeah. you do anything you want? Yes. Who do you date? I don't think so. <laughs> no? I don't think so. I think she'd be like, no, I don't do that. I think she's got a lot of thoughts, a lot of things she wants to share with me. <laughs> about butterflies. Satan. Yeah. Damn, you, who, Satan. Who do you date, her or the girl with all the piercings, though? You have to choose one. <sighs> who are you bringing home to mom and dad? It's definitely piercings. <laughs> Seriously, this girl's out of her shit. I mean... <laughs> And, the, uh, and piercings was I think yeah. piercings you piercings, could at least. She had one so heavy in her front lip. <laughs> you could be like, "Will you take the chin out?" Like, and she'd be like, "All right." <laughs> just for just for when we meet my mom. But the facial tats. I mean, did you? Eat, you probably didn't yeah. even notice the yeah, facial. Yeah, so she tats. had a lot. And she had like an unfinished thing on her neck. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I think this one's way more bananas to me. Oh. Uh. I, you, this is <laughs> if you if you were dating her and she was in the apartment, same feeling as the boa constrictor lost in the <laughs> totally right. Like I don't I don't want to be asleep when this is in my no, hell apartment. No. No, no, no. You could wake up with her just like straddling <laughs> over you and she'd be like <laughs> yeah. Fuck, blinking dude. rapidly. Oh my god! Yeah, they I, they tattoo the, like the whites of their eyes now, which I don't even know how that medically happens, but yeah. it's a thing on TikTok. It feels good. <laughs> the process that's got to feel good you just want to keep doing it oh this is pretty cool so this nurse is removing a ring from a woman's finger but I actually did think this technique was pretty cool she just keeps looping this piece of I guess fabric or plastic around and around wow watch this here it goes the fat meat the meat's going around ah. it. Oh, that's that very satisfying. Impressive. Yeah, yeah, very satisfying. That was pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, that's really impressive. See, does that make up for the snake eating the chicken? Almost. <laughs> the last time I shaved my face was Saturday. And <laughs> shaving days are my most favorite days because it makes me feel so, so clean afterwards. So for those of you that don't know, this is what PCOS might look like for some people. Excessive body hair <sighs> is a symptom of polycystic ovary syndrome. And this usually presents on the face. Butterfly lady. <laughs> right. You were going to ask who I'd rather be with. <laughs> <laughs> butterfly lady. Yeah. Now that seems pretty wait, nice. Wait, wait. Huh? Hold on. Butterfly lady, uh, piercings lady, or PCOS beard lady? She's too accepting of her problem. <laughs> <laughs> there should be some. <laughs> yeah. There's no regret. There's I no. Agree. Yeah. There's Her no, favorite uh, shouldn't day. Start shaving? with yeah. I love shaving. <laughs> yeah. No, it should be like I'm sorry that you have to see this. Yeah. I hate it too. <laughs> yeah. What's your girlfriend? I know I'm not good enough, <laughs> but just watch. Yeah. Wait, who's your girlfriend? The beard. I told you I like bearded? piercing lady. Piercing lady. Still yes. over the bearded lady. Yeah. It goes piercing, <laughs> butterfly, and then fucking <laughs> Franco Harris over here. <laughs> mention when you send them to work they're more likely to cheat you know that most affairs happen at the workplace if they weren't in the workplace they wouldn't have been hanging out with bobby for six hours bottom line is if you don't want a haircut stay out the barbershop preach preach brother (laughs) Um, this guy's really filling the space that cobra left um just like that alpha male 
like influencer. Yeah. Um, I mean, this is a pretty good argument as to why women shouldn't work. As far as <laughs> <I'm concerned. laughs> Married sure. women. Yeah. Married yeah. women. Married yeah. women. Yeah. Single whores can definitely. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We need them. <laughs> we need those single hoes around. <laughs> yeah. If you're new here. Okay, yes, we happened. are. Uh, you're going to die. I my face with too much cocaine, right? I did entirely too much cocaine. The inside of my nose, my septum deteriorated completely. And then over time, my nose fell flat. I'm in the process of trying to fix it. What's going on right here on my face is called a forehead flap. These things in my nose are called nasal trumpets. They go all the way up here. I'm not going to pull them out again. That upset some people in my last video. <laughs> <laughs> so, a couple of questions. This right here is hair because it came from the scalp. So this is a, an entire flap of skin. No, it's not flat on my face. Take a look. Oh, you can see my eyebrow. Ah. It's a trick. It's a party trick. Anyway, uh, this stays wrapped in medicated gauze. Uh, no, I'll probably never feel uh. the inside of my nose again. What happened was they had to make a blood supply into the tip of my nose from parts from my left arm. So they cut up in my left arm. They took out a vein, an artery, uh. a muscle, skin, fucking all of it, right? Uh, a nerve. <laughs> Took it all out, <laughs> fucking made a <laughs> incision here, and then oh my you can see it. You can see it. One what did you videos. search? Here, all the way yeah. from here to here, they yeah. made a blood supply so that the tip of my nose had life. Because when you do a lot of. All right, so I'll take the bearded lady food. <laughs> this chick is not allowed anywhere near. Wait, no. but hold on. Give her a minute. Look, she did a lot of co cocaine. She's having her nose rebuilt, and it's, she's going to look better once it heals. I don't know if she is because. As she was talking, I was thinking, all right, that's a problem. You're obviously got something you got to work on, but why the bad haircut? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? What's the, what's the nose is back? I thought it was a flaccid dick that they attached to her. <laughs> like... Well, and she's going to have to shave the tip of her nose for the rest of her life. Jesus because God. that's how much fucking cocaine head did she hair do? that had to be. That's a lot of that's cocaine. That's a lot of coke. Poor girl. My God. Poor girl. Well, she's obviously got problems, homie. Like, yeah. that ain't normal. Sure. Ah. Yeah. Okay. I would, pobrecito. She should just get those glasses say. with the nose on it. I think we should wrap on that one. It's kind of hard to top it, you know? Okay, but uh, I want you to save I wanna... the last, the, yeah. those for the next. Because okay. those are really bangers, dude. Like, this, I, I've harvested some real goodies. This is can I, rich, can I ask something, though? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, can I see the snake again just to cleanse me of this? <laughs> Sorbet. Sure. Just a, a TikTok I sorbet. I can't walk out with that. Ah. <laughs> ah. It's all about perspective, right? That was a horror at one point. Now it's a delight. It was nice to hear the bones crunch. I didn't really pick that up the first time. I didn't You're pick welcome. that up before. Thanks. Happy New Year. Uh, uh, how Jesus. did you search to find the oh, no, cocaine no. lady? That just comes up on her algorithm. <laughs> it just does. Yeah, yeah. It just feeds you that stuff. She just pulls stuff like this, and they're like, this is the shit you like. Oh, my God. I have to be very cautious to protect my feed, so I can't like anything remotely normal, yeah. or it'll ruin my feed. It's true. Nothing normal or good or pleasant. <laughs> it's so funny. That's crazy. Um, Tom Papa, What a Day is out now Yay. on Netflix. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Um, you know, hug your families. Tell your boys not to rape anyone. And, uh, <laughs> Tell your boys not to Yes, yeah, important. It's a good message. Tom Papa, you're so funny, and you're I'm so best. happy that you have another special. You're How just many one specials of the is this now? Yeah, this is my uh, fifth. Amazing, Congrats. Congrats. Yeah, you're so funny. It's amazing. It's, yeah, where'd you shoot it, by the way? Happy. Uh, Boston at the Wilbur. Oh, it's oh, great. Oh, I love that. Yeah, movie. yeah. You know who really sold great. out? Five Wilburs. <laughs> 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 Joe Coy. Joe Coy did 19 Wilbers. <laughs> 19 Wilbers. Yeah. He could have done the Wang. How do you feel? Times. How do you feel about yours now? Do you feel good? <laughs> right. You know who also did their special. <sighs> right. um, thanks for coming, man. It's always good so to see good you. So good to see you. Thanks for having me. We'll see you guys next time. <laughs> Come for me. <laughs> Come for me. Oh my okay. God, I'm going <laughs> to. Come for me. <laughs> Come for me. <laughs> Oh my okay. god, I'm gonna come for me. Come for me. Oh my god, I'm gonna come for me. Come for me. Oh my god, I'm gonna if your subconscious mind obeys me, accepts the programming that I put into it, absorbs what I say. You go into the deepest, most submissive sexual place you know. Pleasure.
orgasm feeling pleasure. You can't resist the pleasure. You're very, very turned on. Pleasure. Orgasm now. Yeah, I'm gonna come now. I'm coming. Oh, 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 baby, oh, 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 baby, oh, 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 get off. Come for me. Oh, 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 baby, oh, I'm gonna come now. Come for me. Oh, 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 baby, oh, I'm gonna come now. Come for me. Oh, 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 baby, oh. I'm gonna come now. Come for me. Oh, 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 baby. Oh, I'm gonna come now. Come for me. It's so sexy. Uh, come for me. Oh my god, I'm gonna orgasm now. Come for me. I'm gonna come now. Come for me. Oh, 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 oh. Come for me. Come for me. Oh my god, I'm gonna orgasm now. Come for me. Oh, come for me. Yeah, I'm gonna come now. Ah, uh, uh, yeah. Yeah, I wanna. There's a coming up, man. Fuck to have me, man. You're walking around there and your home, which got no place to live, man. Or if you're just a crackhead or a drug addict, man, come on, man. Come on, man. I've got some my poor chocolate candy bar, I'll give you a big candy bar food. Did you like that full episode of your mom's house? Are your jeans as high and tight as they can be? I doubt it. Watch some more clips, dude. Look at that one. Watch that one right here. Or maybe here. Maybe here. Maybe, <laughs> maybe you should subscribe. That way, every time a new video gets posted, you'll be notified. Stay in the know, jeans. Subscribe now. <laughs>